I'm I might gonna... vanish for a hot second later when food is finished being cooked. But for now, I'm if I vanish, it's because Thor has decided he has an issue with my internet. Yes, I'm aware that there is. Just show him your honor. Just show him your honor. We'll pull on your pants and show him your honor. He'll respect it. I don't know if I would call that honor. Anyway, yeah, no, you show you show him your honor, so, and then when he yells at you, you show him your other honor. What I would like everyone to do is not roll initiative because we still have initiative for the fight, but roll, roll me a d20. d20. Yeah, I got a five. Who's gonna go after me? Oh damn! <laughs> 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 I walked him with a vengeance. Right. <laughs> it really it is rolling high. The car to see who goes last. <laughs> So guys, Listen, this is the one where I don't try to roll. <laughs> you want me and Car to roll a D two or something? Uh, yes. I'll go last because I'm eating. Uh, uh, okay. Oh yeah, then me and Will oh, are gonna have to roll a D two. Yeah. No, I, no, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Will go second. So it's gonna be okay. uh, uh, it's gonna be Tara. Then it's gonna be Sky. Then it will be. Caitlin. Oh, thank you very much, Will. That's actually super handy. Right, so, um, as I I mentioned before everyone got here, we're, I'm going to be changing up the way that I do this, just because I find it unfair that some people don't get picked on. So, the uh, way it's going to work oh, now is when you ask a question, after your question's going to be asked, I'm going to ask you a question. This way I get to know a little bit more about your character, um, and that no one feels like that they get picked on because everyone gets a question asked. So, you are up first, Tara. You may ask a question. Oh, you know. So, when last we played, there were some people that turned down hot cooked food. How does Carla feel in response to that? That's a good question. Um, she took no offense by it. Like, it's just one of those things. She cooks the food. If they don't want it, they don't want it. She'll save it for later. So there's right. no kind of like, oh, you didn't take my food kind of about yeah, it. Yeah, no, she she's not like that. She's just like, and eh, they're probably going to either what? eat something different or something. She doesn't really give it a concern. Let's see. No, either to eat eventually or die. See, my mom would be pissed. If my mom offered someone food, she would like say, oh no, and, and they said no, she'd be like, oh, that, that's okay. But inside, the moment that person oh. left, they'd be like, what the fuck, did, was, was my food not good enough? My food not good enough for them? Well, you gotta remember, one of her children is an iron, um, iron forged. Yeah, iron forged. Yeah. And not all of them eat, so. Yeah, I guess that's I just, fair. I, so I just imagine it as she's at least used to having someone who sometimes eats, sometimes doesn't. It just depends, and she doesn't really give it much thought. Okay, well then that's that's the answer to your question. But now there is now there's a flip side. Now I get to ask you something. So you have mentioned that Balara has a very specific family crest. Now. You have this uh, crest on your on your clothing. What would happen, or how would Belara feel if something happened to that crest on her clothing? Would she take it personally, or would she see it as just, oh, this is a representation of the crest. This isn't the crest itself. Uh, she would be angry about it for sure uh because to to harm a crest no matter where it is or whether it's on like whether it's a large one or not to to uh god what what's the word deface it. Yeah. Deface. Yeah. yeah to deface it is essentially to spit on her family and that would not be something she would be okay with so it's likely that that would be uh depending on the context reason for her to possibly pick a fight or uh if it's already in a fight then you better believe she's going to be gunning for the one that did it so okay that's really interesting right skylar it's your turn i see that you've muted i'm assuming something's happening no it's fine okay so it is your turn though you may ask a question then be prepared for me to ask you a question 
Okay. Hmm. Uh, does Hera often keep to herself? Hera, uh, does tend to. Um, they, they, uh, you notice that they've kept a little bit more to kind of the, uh, the Allens. Um, but she, for the most part, keeps to herself. You notice that she's been a little bit more personable, uh, with Mal. But at the moment with you guys, she's very much keeping to herself. But I have a question for you then. And this is, mm-hmm. this is a question that I leave completely open, depending on the person. Uh, there's no set, there's no set, uh, rule for it. So do you think, your, your character is, um, obviously a warpling, therefore they have horns. Does your character feel pain if their horns are damaged? I would say yes. Yes. So if someone were to snap off one of the horns, it would feel excruciating, like someone losing a limb. I would say so. I don't like where this is going. Okay. Okay. Uh, Right. Caitlin, it's your turn. I I don't like being (laughs) stuff like that. (laughs) (laughs) These very specific questions. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not great. It's not great, is it? Ooh. But yes, Caitlin, you may ask a question, then be prepared to have a question asked of you. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna get this question. Okay, so I've got a question uh, for Skylar. Ooh. Now. Yes. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so you said uh, Hanako. I think that's how you say the name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got it right. Um, very much wants to be like dragons. Mhm. What would happen if she had to fight one here? Ooh, that is a good question. What if if Hanako and the group came face to face with a dragon and it was a fight? I think she would face off against the dragon as if she was another dragon trying to take her own territory. Okay. And Will brings up the the, the fair point of as a level yes. three, I think she'd fucking die. Well, um, I know, I know she would. I was just asking in I general. Know, I know, I know. I just like it's, to it's voice it. It's hypothetical, and I appreciate it. Yeah. I voice. I, I like to yeah. voice his sarcasm. Um. All right. So, Caitlin. Oh no. If you were in the middle of a fight and you got a call, like your character got a phone call from one of your kids, what would you do? Such a weird question. Do phones exist in this setting? Yes, yes they do. Um, it would it would honestly depend what type of battle it was. Right, so, okay, right and now. And the whole situation. Right now, you're in this situation, I'm going to present you a situation. You are in a fight, and it's um, wild boars, which are actually D&D monsters. Yep. You're fighting a pack of, of, of ravenous wild boars. There's many in the woods. Um, and your group is, is fighting off them. And suddenly you feel a vibration in your back, and you know that it's uh, it's your your custom vibration for one of your kids contacting you okay well what do you do do you do you answer it do you leave it uh (laughs) she would use her like this is very much battle for battle and it depends on like the whole situation and everyone else Uh uh-huh but, I, like, if it was a fight she honestly thought they were doing good on, could win, it didn't seem to be too much trouble, she would use her, t- uh, she'd use her, um, trunk to grab it and put that shit on speakerphone <laughs> and be like, Mom's kind of busy, what's up, children? Okay, alright, that, that, that would you be, would, would she be that annoying person that constantly talks on speakerphone in, front, in public in front of everybody? No, <laughs> but it's one of those things where... <laughs> You've all seen it where a mom's had to go on speakerphone yeah. because something's happening, but she's also like, okay, I've got to take this call too because what if something's up? Right. So it's one of those things where 
if that were to happen, especially considering one of her kids' uh, life right now, mm -hmm. uh, it'd be one of those things where she's like, fuck, gotta take this. Okay. But if like there was a really bad battle and they were doing bad and it, all that stuff, she'd focus on the battle and then try to get to her phone later. Okay. Right. Well, Will, it is now your turn. Um, to ask a question and then be asked a Do question. I go for something serious or something idiotic? Good. You both. That's a good question. Both. Why not both? Yeah, both. That's good. <laughs> be seriously idiotic. I was thinking of it's just I'm trying to figure out how to phrase, how to word it or phrase it. Or idiotically, oh. uh, you're stupid. Idiotically serious. So several members of this group have been kind of standoffish or quick to isolate themselves. How does Carla feel? Is she? What is her opinion on this? Is she trying to force some kind of found family perspective, or no. how does she feel about the people? About half the group is basically isolating themselves from one another. The way how does she, she feel? the way she views it, and this is just how I view Carla in general. She never forces family on anybody. That's not the way, in Carla's mind, how family works. To her, it's very important to build the relationship with people, and if they come together... Did like anyone? that. Yeah. Most orphans aren't gonna be insta, oh, adopt me, adopt me. A lot of them are going through problems and situations that are very different. And so she doesn't force anything. Ah, so there's Does a... Does she want you this let to slip? kind of feel like a family? That'd be great for her. I think you let but slip a little something there. She cause... understands, and you... she's still going to do her way of, hey, I'm gonna cook this food. If that makes any sense. I think you, there's a very interesting way you answered that, because it let slip a little something. Because you kind yeah. of made note that you're almost treating the group the way you treat people you would adopt. I find that very interesting. <laughs> to be fair, though, Carla treats... It's not people... It's not just people she wants to adopt that she treats like this. It's everybody who will let her. Because to her, as an orphan herself, Carla often remembers how it goes to feel overlooked, to be just one of many, and she doesn't want that to happen to somebody else. I find it interesting that you're kind of setting, a little bit setting yourself up as the <coughs> Fast and the Furious is Dom of this group. It's all about the family. <laughs> but, uh... uh Carla's yeah. a better actress, let's just say that. So, well, however, uh, you have... Ask the question. Now, a question is to be asked of you. If during this, uh, during your expeditions, you came aware that there was a, a series of illithids uh, within the jungle, would you feel the pull to abandon the hunt for? the wild animals and to join the hunt for the elephants. If there was a sizable enough force that was trying to go against the illithids, like he wouldn't go and do it by himself because even he accepts that's suicide. Mm -hmm. But if there was a way he could either suicide is painless. <laughs> if there was a way he could kind of twist the arms of the expedition into helping, or rally up with a different group, at this point in time, I would say yes, he would con at least strongly consider abandoning this hunt. Interesting, interesting. Right then, it is the big Gordito. 
I don't oh. know if he'd go through with it, but he'd consider it. It's the okay, I kind of want to try a bit. <laughs> what was that, Sky? You cut out for me. Sorry. So, re- since this is a bully Caitlyn night. Yeah, oh, I reconnected. Sorry, it. my, my so, connection went a bit funny there. I reconnected, but I'm back. So, yes, continue. So, uh, last time I asked Carla a question, it was about how parents have, uh, have, have you know, they, they clearly pick favorites whether they want to or not. No parent is immune to that. Uh, and last time it was your least favorite. Yeah. So now I'm going to do a slight flip. I don't want to know just who your most favorite is, Let's say, in this hypothetical, something terrible happened. I don't think Kaladol will do this 100% because it would make no sense in the story at the moment. But let's say... Let's say someone rounded up all of your children and forced you to pick one. Negan style. Yeah. Which child do you keep? So all the others are going to be sacrificed? Yeah. You don't know what's going to happen to them. This villain has given you one. Yeah. This is very hex-like, so I, <laughs> I don't like this. Yeah, this one's mean. This one's hard. Fuck you. Because I don't remember all my kids. No, I no, I remember all of Carl's kids. <laughs> <laughs> I it's just literally going. which Can I say one, that's one of my worst fears. Like not like kids, but like forgetting the names of like my pets. <laughs> Gotta pick one. It's the Sophie's choice, but of like twelve. Yeah. And then the rest <laughs> become Schrodinger's children. <laughs> well, I know at least I can rule out two right away. Oh wow! Oh wow! Well, no, 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 wow. no, 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 no. They're twins. She knows for a fact if she picked one and left the other behind, that twin would never forgive her. That twin would not want to survive in life without their yeah. without their sibling. That one is an easy. Don't pick one of the twins. Oh, I think there's one on there. I think you you would probably let you would probably let Chop as well. I can think immediately. What hex? And there's one that I. You're think... a robot. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. My connection might be a bit funky. Let me reconnect. They're reconnecting. I've reconnected. Um, okay. Yep. What did right. you say, honey? So I, I think there's another one I can think of off the bat that you'd be totally fine with dying. <laughs> yeah, not it, it, she wouldn't be okay. Saying she'd be totally fine is no, but she wouldn't pick that kid first. Uh, if I was probably honest, it would probably be Parker. She'd uh, choose to say first. Really. That's I don't know who that is. I just, I just know that that child is the most loved one. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not even that that child is the most loved one. It's just Carla has always felt so responsible for them. Like she feels uh, responsible for the all of them. Away. No. Uh, Carla, <laughs> no, 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 no. Carla loves each of her children. But Parker was her first child. Parker is the one that has struggled with a lot of things, I feel. And because of that... She must go. No, she must be saved. Yeah. Because oh. yeah, the thing was, which, which could... Like, she'd save all of them if she could. She, she'd sacrifice her own damn life. But if she had to pick one first to save... It'd be Parker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 100%. <coughs> so, Alex, though, you have asked a yeah. question and now you must pay the price. I what? Pay for the troll tax. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you are a sworn enemy 
of of the Ender and all that the Ender stands for and the be- the creatures under its command. Yeah. If you found upon Galatea there was a source of 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 void energy, what do you think Hydra would do? Like he found out there is a, a source of this energy connected to the Ender, hidden on Galatea. What would he do? I uh, you you, you want to know what he would do? Um, so I have that. Yeah, he he he's a lot of what he's doing is because he he similar to Zol kind of functions off of his fear of the of the truth that he's seen. Um, so Hydra's main goal, his his what his whole goal is finding a way for his for his specifically his species and if other species benefit from it too. That's whatever his whole goal is. is to, to find a way for them to adapt as people like they did previously on Titus so that they can continue to grow and evolve to survive whatever comes next. Mm -hmm. Depending on the source of the Ender energy and depending on his own state of mind, just because he he does, you know, he keeps himself very rigid so that he can can think more clearly and think more logically, otherwise he he, he can't focus. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a very strong chance that he mad scientists this and tries to control it for himself. Ah, interesting. And, yeah, you know, it'd be, be, I don't know necessarily if it would be heel turn, but, like, definitely mad scientist that shit. Yeah, I could see it. I like that. I like that. Okay, well, that leads us to, uh, to Kara, who is the end of this all. So, Kara, please um, ask one question and then be prepared for a question to be asked of you. So, I did not know that this was going to be pick on Caitlin Knight. <laughs> so, you didn't prepare? No, I prepared. I just didn't know everybody else was going to pick on her when I prepared my question. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, Caitlin. Yes. Yeah. It's very much obvious that you would do anything and everything for your kids. That's blatantly obvious. Yeah, she's, she's Carla. Yeah, and you're you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most selfish thing Carla has done at the expense of her kids? Ooh, that's a really interesting one. When did you actually say fuck them kids? <laughs> yeah, basically. Because you had to have at one point dealing with 12 kids just said fuck this. I am doing this one thing for myself. I can think of, I can think of, based on your story, I actually know one, right off the top of my head. But I'm interested to see if you, what you think. When I say at the expense of her children i mean that in a general sense so it doesn't have to be all of them it could be at the expense of let's say one of their kids really wanted to fucking go to to astronaut camp one year and you're like you know what i want to take that money and spend it on myself for something i truly wanted that kind of selfishness okay i don't know if this will count but I think it might. We'll see. You tell me if it answers. I would say she's very much... Do you know what time it is today? I'm here with Josh <laughs> Dub, Eddie, Nary... 
Oh, god damn it. Um, because this isn't just going to be a little thing. It's it's kind of a big thing. Mm -hmm. Um, she's lied to her uh, daughter Blake about Dirk. Oh. Because her daughter Blake, um, Hex will know this. I'll show yeah. you guys then. Her daughter Blake is very much an activist. She's an activist for rights for everybody, treating people like people, and down with the corporations and stuff like that. To the point, she's part of a resistance and is kind of wanted. Dirk, on the other hand, seems to be walking the de de uh, dark path of corporations. And I would imagine it like Carla loves them both, but she's and she even believes in what Blake says more than anything else. Like, that's something she wants, too. But Dirk is just as much her kid as Blake is. And she does not want the two of them fighting. Oh, that, that feels more like you're doing it to to, uh, to not create in fighting more than solely benefiting yourself. Okay, well, yeah, it doesn't solely benefit herself, but I I, I do the, view but, that as a selfish thing. I can I can see a bit of uh, I can see that perhaps. And obviously, this could be part of your character or not. I'm just throwing out from from what you said. Maybe yeah. the selfishness there isn't the top layer is I don't want my kids fighting, but the the selfish layer is I don't want to deal with my kids fighting. It's not even she doesn't want to deal with the kids fighting. She like fighting is going to happen when you have this many kids. It's going to happen. It's more like. She, I will, I would say she honestly believes if it came down to it, Blake would kill Dirk. And she's very much scared to find out all of the bad Dirk's doing, mm. instead of just hearing rumors about it. Mm. And she's very scared that the fact could come, one of her kids is going to die at the other's hands. Mm. And she very much does not want that to happen. And she is very selfish about the fact, like, my son might be doing this bad thing. It might be better if he goes to jail. It might be better if this doesn't happen. But he's my son. Okay, I'm gonna throw a curveball because because okay. because of this. Would Carla lie to save Dirk from going to prison? I think, because from what, the, what I imagine, like, the rumors are bad ones. The rumors are bad ones, and, like, we personally have seen how bad corporations can get. Mm -hmm. I think she would, because I think Carla thinks if Dirk goes to prison, it's not going to just be prison. It's going to be death penalty. Mm -hmm. And I think she would fully believe that. Okay. So she would lie. Uh, right, then, uh, Kara. Um, do, do, you... do I need to give you another answer, Kara? Because I can. No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, so, Kara, you've asked a question, and I have, I have a really straightforward question for you, though. You okay. mentioned that, that Kelty, uh, Selty, um, used to work for the AAF. Why did she join the AAF? Why did she join? Yeah. Uh... She joined because of the thrill and excitement of it. Oh, okay. Thrill seeker. You don't, you don't get a lot of people who join the you know the UN peacekeepers for the thrill. That's interesting. Well, I like that. It's like the, the thrill of of being a part of of like just of being able to do something that is is you know, like with anything, it's like brand new to them. It's 
it's the alliance of all these other places the the excitement of meeting new people meeting new races mm-hmm. all of that okay interesting well I, I hope you've all found this interesting with the the idea of of asking me asking you guys questions as well to get a bit of an understanding of some extra aspects of your characters and how they might deal with situations I'm planning to give this a trial run on the other games as well, see how that goes. If it eats too much time or it doesn't become helpful, I'll get rid of it. But for now, I'd just like to have a bit of an understanding of some of your characters. Um, No, I like it. So we will do a little bit of an explanation of what happened last time and then we'll pick off because some of us did part slightly uh, earlier last time. Um, you all did successfully defeat the uh, the shrubs and the awakened plants and the man traps that were hidden about the place. Um, oh. After completing that fight, you kind of secured uh, a place for you to stay for the night. Uh, some lanterns were set up, tents were set up. Uh, Carla used her motherly abilities uh, to make food, and food was offered, and some people were accepted, and some people didn't. There was a, a rotation set up for individuals to do night watch and a very interesting and very opening chat took place between uh, Hydra and Balara and we got a bit of an understanding of a bit of both of their sides a little bit and who they are beyond um, you know just the kind of what we see uh, we got to see a bit more, more was going on some very interesting little things happened that some people may have picked up on and may not have picked up on of certain creatures and things acting certain ways um, and that may say a little bit more uh, about them than we think. Um, we also uh, learned that the nameless NPCs that work for the Iron Blood orphan, uh, the, the Iron Bloods, have names. Um, that they, they are, <laughs> they are as stated. They are Alan, Dallin, and Dan, um, and they are all sharing a a tent uh, with Sakar. Um, Hanako, uh, because you uh, had to go, sadly, Sky, we just said that Hanako went and saw an opportunity to have a tent all to themselves, and so took that up and was focusing on getting their beauty sleep. However, (laughs) all of your beauty sleep was sadly interrupted by the fact that uh, during the end of one of the shifts, honey badgers just came rushing into your tent. I uh, can't yeah. believe you're using the honey badgers meme. I cannot believe. I so love honey badgers. Honey, honey badgers are amazing. In the year of our Lord 2021, you have brought back the honey badgers meme. I brought Ooh. back the honey badgers. Um, now, what this means is uh, that a fight's going to ensue. However, this is halfway through most of your long rests. So you don't get the benefit of the long rests. Um, so those of you who've, who've lost health, that health needs to stay the way it is. Um, obviously, if you're a short rest, you can get your short rest abilities back. Um, but I won't let you roll any dice. And Sky's sadly dying. Um, I won't let you roll any dice to get any more health back than what you have. So what you have as of right now is what you have, ladies and gentlemen, and those of you in between. So we will pick up exactly where we left off with your little encampment being attacked by the honey badgers. I will say because Hydra did spot them, um, that they don't get a, uh, a, you know, a surprise round <laughs> against you because they were spotted. Had they not been spotted, um, yes, you would have been surprise rounded. So I would say that uh, Hera is kicking off the group. So Hera sees the uh, the honey badgers and pulls up her rifle, manages to load in a shot, and shouts to everyone, If you're not awake, I would get up now. We've got company. Valara, it's your turn. <coughs> All right. Honey badgers. Fierce honey badgers. The deadliest of all the honey. And then I'm getting up. And I will <laughs> take a shot. And pop a cap in his ass. Pop a cap in that honey badger's ass. That definitely hits a honey badger's ass. Roll damage. <laughs> that kills a honey badger. That honey badger's dead. <laughs> Bang! Poor honey badger. 
This is animal know. cruelty. I'm calling PETA. <laughs> wow, so they can also <laughs> join in on the fun? Yeah. <laughs> Orphan moves up to there and have her hold an action to punch a badger if it gets near. Okie dokie. Badger, 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 I want to clarify that I am wearing a fucking face mask, like with the <laughs> cucumbers on and everything. <laughs> uh, okay, well, yeah, you 100% have have uh, a face mask on that you put on in the night. You have little cucumbers over your eyes. You use part of your rations to make your cucumber eye like over your eyes. <laughs> you are prone though, so it, to stand up, that's gonna use half your movement. So I'm assuming you want to stand up, yeah. Yes, I want to stand up. You are now standing up. You're in a tent. <sighs> oh, dearie me. Not this again. And tries to poke head out of the tent to see what's going on. You poke your head out of the tent, and you see that there are some very angry <laughs> honey badgers right in front of you. One is dead, it's on the floor, its legs still do the little animal twitchy thing every now and then as a smoking gunshot is coming off its side. Smoking gunshot, how edgy. Um, <laughs> hmm. I'm thinking this through. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. But no thoughts, head empty. No yeah, same. That's literally it. Um, I okay. I hate how I can't fucking read this. Uh, I would like to use my warhammer. Okay, so you're gonna rush out and attack them. Is that it? Yes. Well, you need to move towards one of them because, as you can see, they're a bit far away from you at the moment. So yeah, that's the plan. So. I step over the dead badger. Mm hmm. And I need to get this thing out of my fucking face. And <clears throat> proceed over to this group of badgers. Okie dokie. <laughs> Swing at a badger. That definitely hits a badger. Roll damage. That does do a lot of damage to a badger, but you don't quite kill the badger. <coughs> the badger looks half squished and very angry. Half squished? <laughs> it's not dead, so yeah, only half squished, I'm afraid. Cool. Should I go again? You, you can't. You're, oh. you're only a level three, I'm afraid, Sky. You don't... Uh, you don't get extra attack. That's uh, much later on. That's level five. Oh, fair enough. All one right. day. One day. One day. One day. Not today, though. Not today. <clears throat> Damn it, Devin. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So, uh, I'm just going to do some behind the scenes stuff. Unacceptable. Fuck you. You know what's unacceptable? You. Me. Your attitude about this situation. Your attitude, oh, yeah. Right. Uh, Cheer up, Buttercup. Never. Sky, roll me a perception check, please. Yes, ma'am. Wait, fuck, did I? No, the window's right there. Um, perception. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh, you noticed that there was a honey badger in that corner. Like right in front of you, <laughs> it's not there anymore. Uh oh. Interesting. All right. You, Salty. You Salty, it is your turn. You have heard the call of Hera to wake the <laughs> fuck up because you've got, uh, you, you've got someone around. So. Uh, I crawl out of the tent <laughs> and stand up. Mm-hmm. So, so that's, that's half movement on the free if you want to stand up. 
That's another 15 there. And I will attempt to... Uh, I'll attempt to firebolt this one. Go for it. The the one down here, this one, yeah? Yeah. Go for it. Fire, attempt to firebolt it. That definitely firebolts. Roll damage. That's not quite death, I'm afraid. But it's it's not happy. It's a very it's a singed badger. <laughs> this feels wrong. <laughs> right. Uh, if there's nothing else, Hydra, my boy, it's your turn. Yes, Hydra. But I don't. If I recall correctly, Hydra was just getting his pot of uh, tea brewed. Yes, he was. So he will, um, I also he he would have just finished putting the touches on it, so he was back would have been towards them. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll turn and face them, and, um, sorry, I'm chewing. Um, no, no, you're fine. And he will draw both his swords, like a good boy. Good boy. Um, I'll say, and I'll say, I need to start my day off with a good warm-up. Let's hope you shall suffice. And he will move. 15 feet down this way. Nice. Then, he will concentrate the salt a man. Concentrate assault a badger. Do it. That hits hit. a, yes, that does hit a badger. Which one are you hitting? The one to the side or the one in the front? Oh, right front. oh well, that badger's dead. Yes. Badger, 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 dead. I then activate, that's then one level of trance. Good. Which means I gain another five feet. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 not yet. But I can move right here, because I still got plenty of movement to go. And the one that, uh, with a bonus action, mm -hmm. I will try and concentrate and assault the, the the small one that, that uh, Salty already hurt. Yep, go for it, because it's a bonus action. Miss. Uh, that misses, I'm afraid. But what if I did it again? That hits, though. And that does kill that one. I'm back up to trans 2. Right. Carla, it is your turn. I, I will say Carla's coming out in her damn nightgown because she's not gonna like bother putting on regular clothes. Cause oh, okay, so AC goes down. No, because she's got. Can we talk uh, about an elephant nightgown, please? Uh, because she's got not troll armor. She doesn't use medium armor. Ah, oh, even better then. Which makes that at least a little nice. She doesn't have to be worried about getting cut. Cut. She's just like this. Definitely not the gown for fighting. And she'll look down there. And it, let me check something. Because I haven't used this weapon before. Uh, short bow. Would it be able to hit? How long does short bow range? Um, I'm pretty sure for <laughs> short, short bow is less than. It is more than 35 feet, is it not? Uh, I don't know. I haven't used a short bow before. So. Let's look at I mean, uh, I think yes. Let's look up the. Uh, I don't know it off by heart. Do I have it on my phone? It is eighty feet. So yes, it's will. Okay, good, good, good. Does she have a bow or does she have a gun? Is it just a bow? I'm gonna say it's just a bow. That's fine. Go for it. So she's gonna fire. Uh, that hits. Roll damage. Does it hit? Yes. Yeah, I want to imagine that 13 Oh, hits. I forgot that uh, Alex is 13 hit. Can you not hear me? Yeah. Uh, that, so that is four damage to a badger. badger yeah, and then she's going to use her bonus action to... Um, I get nothing, don't I? No, you get nothing. Yeah. Okay, well that's all of your turns. It is now the honey badger's turn. 
The honey badger looks around and the honey badger is terrified. It, 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 it didn't expect this. Uh, it's going to then turn to the closest person to it that heard it, that's Hydra, and it's going to just, you know, try. A 10, I'm guessing, misses. It's going to just try. Does an 18 hit you, Hydra? Yes, hold on, my, ace, my trance technically goes up to a 3, because he missed one attack. That's yeah. 7 honey badger slashing damage. 7, okay. Right. It's Dan's turn. Dan and the group burst out, grabbing a hold of their weapons, and see that it's a badger, and they go, Dan, specifically, you woke us up for a badger! It's a badger! They can handle it! Sakar, it's your turn. Can we handle this badger? Can you handle this badger? We will see. Will. You know what? I ain't even gonna kill this badger. Will, kill this badger for me. Fuck him up. Will, Gets up. this badger's Gets... insulted me. Fuck him up. This Gets out of the tent. And he starts swinging. Swing at the badger. Fighter man. Fighter, Fighter man. man. <laughs> And now is when I realize I actually forgot to put a fighting style on my character sheet. Perfect. There you go, Sky. What is it? <laughs> you asked about the night now. Oh, oh, good. Oh, God. Give me a minute. I'm sorry. I I'm multitasking. <laughs> I was expecting an actual <laughs> elephant in a nightgown, not something normal. Yeah, you've actually disappointed me here. <laughs> I will draw the elephant in the nightgown if if requested. Hang oh, over if you I want. Think to. I think I can find one. I think I can find one. It will be a shit posty sketch, but I'll do it. <laughs> shit posty anyway. That definitely hits a badger. That okay, I'm imagining an elephant wearing this yeah. and it's sending me. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, 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 Carla enjoys lingerie. That, that's my head. Congratulations, you murdered the badger. It is now Hera's turn. Yeah. Hera. <laughs> Scope still up, is looking out, and it seems to be, things seems to be clear. The Lara, the badgers have been defeated. What do the now? I will take a scope of my surroundings. Roll me a big old perception check. Oh, it was great. Let me let me do a counter check on something. We blind as shit. Yeah, you blind as shit. Um, you don't see anything. Everything seems calm. You can see well. You see uh, four dead badgers. <laughs> All right. I'll kind of lower my weapon. That's it. Okay. Hanako, it is your turn. You, the the badges have been defeated. Right. So I also do perception. That's up to you if you want to have a look around. What is it that Hanako wants to do now that the badges are all dead? Uh, make sure there aren't any more. Okay. Yeah. So roll me a perception. Okay. You rolled fantastically well, and for that I will reward thee. Um, you saw a badger be just, like, dragged into the darkness. After taking a closer look, yeah, you can see what dragged it into the darkness. Mm. Big fuck off wolf! Upper. Oh. We're in wolf town now. You are in wolf town. You suddenly get an understanding of why a group of badgers may have rampaged through... <clears throat> your camp in the middle of the night. All right, let's kill Taylor Lautner. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That's okay. Workers tripped the, the breaker. So. Oh, that's not good. Um, okay, so let me see how to approach this. Uh, did anyone see that over there? You just pointed out to us? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Gesture to the giant wolf that you can now all see. Yeah. Who's that there? 
no wolf there before. There was no wolf there before, but there was now. It, it ripped apart one of those badgers, by the way. I bank oh, badger. The, I bank the badger killer. This is not PETA certified. This is not PETA certified. <laughs> Fuck PETA. Every badger was harmed in the making of this project. <laughs> I punched a badger on the way here. I did it. You, you know those like movies that say like this has been like approved like animal like certified and no. <laughs> but yes, you have you have you've said out loud. Did, did anyone see you know the big, the big wolf thing right there? And uh, yeah, now people are aware of it. Um, but is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, not now. Bold. Okay. Um, I will now reveal that the uh, the the wolves actually take their time exactly after you. So it is their turn now. They uh, hidden GM rolled their initiative. They got a twelve, um, and theirs is slightly higher to go before salty, but uh, not enough to go before. Them. So this wolf going to make its way, trampling through is your. It specifically through that way? Yes. Would I get an attack of opportunity against it? I don't see a reason you would. Because right it here. It went through there. Yeah, go on, give it a go. Give it a go, go on. Yeah, we're constantly <laughs> assaulting this attack. <laughs> go for it, big guy. That does hit a wolf. And that's big damage, actually. So, I it... do tramples tramples its way through your uh, tent there sky and it makes its way around here and then it's gonna try and take a bite out of you uh, that you being sky so do this now at public big bite a uh, 13 misses you I believe that's lower than your AC correct correct right. Oh, it's, it's not That's the only one. Another one. <laughs> and that what the one fuck? They've multiplied. Goes oh. badgering through. Oh this no! Is cursed. And it oh, no. sees it sees Hydra, and it's gonna try and go for Hydra now. Oh, no. I don't believe it's oh, no. close enough to its friend to be able to get no. pack tactics. No, it's not. It's nope. just out. So it's going to try to bite Hydra though. Make sure advantage is off. Uh, Sixteen uh, misses. Oh, I'm at trans five now. I'm, I'm gonna post that in on my turn. Yeah, no problem, no problem. And then, let me just mess around with some stuff at the moment. Where is that? Oh, there we go. Boop, boop, boop. There he is. There's the last one. Oh no. He can move fifty. Because fuck you. Oh no! Not Alan! Oh no! Over to that, and yes, yeah, sure enough, he's oh, gonna no. go for Dan, and he oh. is at advantage now. Oh, well, fuck Dan, as long as it's yeah, not. Yeah, fuck that guy! Oh, well, then no one cares. Leave poor Dan alone. And no one liked Dan. I did. He Dan cheated at cards. Character. And takes a whole bunch of damage, and then now has to do a strength save. Or, yeah, literally ripping pieces, Dan. Uh, now I have to take a strength save, or uh, he is prone. So, uh, their strength is not great, and it's a DC 13. He's standing tall, is Dan. But, uh, yeah, you now got three direwolves on your behinds. So, Kelty, you've now seen these beasts roar their way through the dark. What do? Uh... I will bonus action spiritual weapon. Ooh, spicy. Do you, you should have access to your spiritual weapon. Yeah. It's just a dildo bat. Yeah, it's just a dildo bat. Plop okay. it where it would go. That is the sound it would make. Right, so this oh. is Kelty's spiritual weapon. And upon seeing it, Hydra, you immediately take notice to this because you have seen this in the writings of your people. 
This is a creature oh. of the void. Hydra does have a nice smile. A nice big toothy smile. The kind of smile that says, wow, he looks like he's a happy guy. Definitely not creepy. <laughs> Definitely not something that was I, I want that in parentheses. Like, <laughs> definitely not creepy. But yes, does it hit? A s uh, just uh, like the see. ancient Jedi text told him, yes. Yes, it just matches. Not the ancient Jedi text. Perhaps the archives are incomplete. <laughs> <laughs> it does not kill him, though, I'm afraid. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, I will, I will, can I make a, a wisdom save? Because this would have been the first time that they would have used their spiritual weapon and seen this is their summon. They might, might be, uh, might be freaked out by what was created. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, you, you keep it together. You're, you you feel palpitations in your chest and the memory of what that is, but but you manage to... You look at then the big fuck-off wolf that's right next to it and manage to pull okay. yourself together just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. I will... Having seen it, it and, of course, seeing the situation we're in... Uh, I would say it kind of has a, although it's it's odd in in shape and and design, it kind of has a a calming nature to it, given given their background. Mm -hmm. uh, so there, it relaxes them just a bit in an odd way, and they will attempt to. To fire bolt the wolf. Go for it. Fire bolt the wolf. Yeah, fuck that you dog. fire bolt the fuck out of that wolf. Yeah, fuck that wolf. Not really. Yeah, <laughs> it's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, level three. This is, this, is, this is level three. Sometimes, you know. Yeah. Bright. <laughs> Hydra. It is your turn. You have now seen. A creature of the void suddenly appear and attack that wolf. Uh, I do. Yeah. I do see the creature of the void. I was standing right here, right? Or was yes. I? No, I was right here. Yes. No, I was right here. Yeah. Right. Okay. So my pot of tea is on be. the big gordita. Yeah, it's on the big gordita. This is important for Hydra, specifically Hydra. I'll draw a little. Draw a little. Uh... Draw a little teapot. Go on. There's its spout. A little handle. There we go. Easy peasy. So and this has been art with Alex. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he sees that, looks over, sees that his pot of tea is still brewing nicely. He looks back at that. I'm so glad that we got this in. <laughs> no, it's important. This is actually important. It's very Hydra. important, yeah. It's actually very important that Hydra's tea stays safe to him. Uh, he will walk forward, ignoring this one for right now, and instead mm -hmm. will focus the facts on that one. Go for it. He will start with a concentrated assault. Uh, not that misses. misses. But what if 23? 23 does hit. 12 does big... kill it. You do kill the big wolf. Good. And my thing goes up. Oh, I need to make a trans check. Hold yes, on. you do. That's what we. It should. I also should post what we do. There's the thing about one of five, technically. Yeah. And the DC 10 acrobatics. I passed it. Would have been DC. Yes. But now it's up to a six. Which means I do the fun thing of my AC is now at 18. Yep. I turn to this thing. He takes a nice deep sigh of relief as his tea kettle is safe. His tea kettle is in fact safe. And then he will make his second attack with some bonus movement speed. Your second yeah. bonus attack, you mean? Yeah. But yes, yeah. the 17 does hit. That's 16 then. And my thing is 7, so my AC is 19 now. <laughs> okay. Right. Carla, it's your turn. You saw the badgers, and you saw the badgers be very quickly dealt with, but you now also see the big wolves. Uh, out of curiosity, could you get sneak attack with a uh, short bow? Yes. Yes, it's okay. a ranged weapon. 
All right, then she's gonna bonus action use <coughs> insightful fighting. Yep, and I have to do a wisdom check against that, so it's a free. No, so no, uh, I was gonna say you make a deception check. Yeah. Oh, it's a charisma then. Yeah. Well, there you go. Four. And I roll insight. You 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 get insight on a giant wolf. I figured, but I knew I still needed to make the roll. No, 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 you did the right thing. Then she's gonna fire here. Oh, that one? Go ahead. That definitely hits. Roll damage. Yay! Now roll your, uh, your damage for your sneak attack. Uh, sneak attack. What, what, what's my damage for that? Hold on. I've got the chart. 2d6 of this level? 2d6, I believe. Yeah, 2d6. Thank yeah. you. <coughs> Big number, big number, five. That's five more damage. Yep. That's five. Uh, and then she'll call out, because uh, she obviously saw who got hurt. Mm-hmm. Okay, she'll call out, Dan, you okay? And oddly enough, it's Dan's turn, who is screaming in agony <laughs> as, his pain, <laughs> as his leg is dripping with blood, and he's going to attempt to shoot at uh, the wolf. He actually yeah, fucking hits. Fine. Yeah, go Dan! That's actually pretty good numbers for them as well. So, minus nine. <laughs> Listen, Sakaar. Dan, Balan, and Alan are doing well in life. <laughs> Not really. Um, so, Sakar, it's your turn. You've got two dire wolves in front of you. Are Balan and Alan not going to take? Technically, I have They're one trying to help one. him. <laughs> uh, I am going to swing my sword at the one in front of me. Go ahead. Fight, man. Fighter man. Fighter man. That misses. Uh, do I waste an action surge on this just to try and get an attack in? That's right. up to you. You do get those back on short rests. I do. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be Fighter Man in action surge. Yeah. Fighter Man it up! That means I get another a chance to attack. That hits! Roll damage! And... yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Good damage. And I want to tack on one of my telekinetic strike, or psionic strike. Wonderful, I thought you were gonna do that. So, big, roll me that d6, I think? Uh, d6 plus int, I yes. think. Yes! Yeah, d6 plus int. That's another 8, that's really good, actually. Minus that. That wolf isn't looking much longer for this world. It, it will be Hera's turn, so Hera will see that one of the wolves is very much still fine. And she is going to attempt to bonus action hide from the wolf first and foremost. Which she fucking does. And then she's going to attempt to shoot it with the bullet that she loaded. And a 14 just hits, actually, so that's 9 damage to that one. I need to move it a second, so yeah, there we go. Minus 9. Right, Ballara, it is your turn. Alright. <laughs> What's my line of sight through this? Uh, that is, it's standing up. So, uh, it would actually only be preoccupying this square here, because it's standing up, so you would be able to see through it, yes. Alright, I'll take a shot on that one. Go for it. Pew, pew. That definitely hits. It's probably a dead wolf. That's a dead wolf. Alright, an orphan will come up, and I will have her... I hope we call this the animal cruelty. <laughs> right. That definitely hits. Roll damage. That's another dead wolf. Is there anything else you'd like to do? That's me. Okay. Well, Hanako, it is your turn. All right. One second. Alright, um, 
So the wolves are all dead? The wolves that you can see are dead. I'm gonna roll a perception then. Okie dokie, roll me a perception. The most perceptive barbarian we've ever seen. Listen. <laughs> the most perceptive barbarian we've ever seen? Yeah, yeah, no, no, actually. So, uh, let me see, what would you see? Yes, you would see over here that that was a frontal assault. Wolves aren't dumb creatures. While a frontal assault happens, some of them have been uh, trying to get around you. Clever girl. Clever girl. <laughs> Clever girl. I can make there. I can make there. <laughs> uh, point it. You might want to point it out to the rest of us, Sky. All right. Oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Don't be closer over there. My character may be per uh, perceptive, but I sure am not. Um, okay. Here. Holy dicks. Okay. Um, Holy dicks. <laughs> that is what I would say in that situation. <laughs> holy fat nipples, Batman. There's more wolves. Oh, oh, holy dire wolves, fuck, man. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to have a character that just says the. Thing, so I was just thinking of that thing you. from Scooby Doo where everyone says their catchphrase at the end of it. It's just Fred going, "Well, fuck." Holy <laughs> Diddler, Batman, we're surrounded. Oh, <laughs> oh no, True Texan, get the Bibles. <laughs> <laughs> true Texan out. True, true, true Texan would love this. He'd be gunning these wolves down. He does have thirty-seven guns. <laughs> What color are these wolves? Oh yeah, I can gun them down. <laughs> oh no! Space oh, no. America, everyone. To be fair, the only one here that he probably wouldn't gun down is Tara because she's white. And blonde. Yeah. No, that's, I know there's a placeholder token. <laughs> no, that's funny. Uh, um, Hanako looks over and notices the two other wolves and points over. We're not quite done yet. Is there anything else you would like to do? Or are uh, you just gonna point them out to the group? I damn it, wrong fucking I guess I have to approach. Uh I don't think you can move that much. Okay. Yeah, You're only not, yeah. Hydra could do that because of the trance thing. Yeah. Because Hydra is bullshit. Because it's class bullshit. You can I only can move go. 30 feet. Uh, where was yeah, she you originally? Far away. They were there. I'll ping them. Yeah, I don't think any of my attacks are distant. So. Yeah. You could, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you do have the, if you bonus action rage, you can do the, the, the breath, because that's 30 feet range. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you might just be out. Look, that's 35. All right. Yeah, sadly, you're just, just out. All right, then I'll skip this turn. Okay. So, oh. so are you, are you going to stay that up front, or are you going to stay back where you were? I'm gonna wait until I can move again. <laughs> no, 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 but I'm saying, do you want to undo the move, because, or do you want to go stay there? I'm gonna stay there. Okay, or okay. something you can do is you can hold actions in D&D &D so that yeah. if a criteria is met, like if something comes within five feet of you, and then you try to put its head open with an axe. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can hold an action in for a specific reason, so if I was to hold an action... And then the action would be an attack when a badger came within five feet of me, I would attack that badger, you know what I'm saying? Um, can I hold rage? Or, sorry, yeah, rage, dragon breath? Um, no, because that's a bonus action. But you can okay. hold, like, an attack. You, you, so you can technically, if you want to take your bonus action to rage automatically, you can rage, and then when they get into the criteria, you can either free fire at them or attack them or weapon. 
Okay. Because you can still hold that action of, a, of an attack even after you rage, because rage has some interesting criteria to meet. So what would you like to do? I don't think there's anything else I can do. <laughs> well, are you going to hold the action is what I'm saying. Oh, I, I guess I can hold the Warhammer as an action? Yeah, you can hold an attack. Okay. But then I'm going to then do the direwolf moves. So the first direwolf is going to bundle its way. Am I on the right layer? I'm not on the right layer. All the way up to here. And because it did move past you, you do get to attack it. So please feel free to slam the hammer down on on that uh, that wolf. That definitely hits. Roll damage. That's eight damage. That's good damage. And the other wolf is going to make its way up to there. So, uh, Kelty, you're about to get hit by one wolf. Yay! And it does have its friend, so it gets good old pack tactics. Yay! And a 12 misses you, though, so you're lucky. No, it does not. It does not. Oh! <laughs> That's 10 piercing damage, and make me a strength save, please, or go prone. I forgot that you were a sorcerer. <laughs> a strength save? Yes, DC 13. You are prone. Okay. Boop. It is now the other wolf that's going to attack Hanako. And again, it does get this at advantage because of its friend. But a seven misses Hanako. So that's... How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> How many times do I need to teach you this lesson, wolf? Uh, the other ones are then going to go... Boop. Over to here. Let's see. They're gonna bite down on some elephant tonight. Okay. Yes, he can get over to there. So then that one is gonna go after there. Right, so the first attack, these are not an advantage, is gonna go towards the group of Allens. So normal. Oh and no, eight. Tim Allen, watch out! And that does get Dan. Oh. And Dan's it's dead. Dan, Dan's dead, everyone. No! It yes. did his teeth down into it and froze him aside. Weaklings die, big deal. And then the next wolf is going to then go for for Carla. Uh, 24 does hit you, Carla, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, does hit. That's 10 damage. Okay. And then roll me a strength save, please. Uh, DC 13. Let's see how this goes. You are prone. Okay. Right. Kelty, it's your turn. You are prone. Okay. Uh, so, even melee spells are still at disadvantage because I'm prone. Correct? I yes. believe so, yes, but you can yes. stand up from being you, prone. Any attack when you're prone is made at disadvantage. Okay, that's what, I, that's what I figured, but I just wanted to make sure. It's not a grapple, though. It's just proned you, so you can okay. stand up, but that just uses half your movement. All right, well, first I'm going to move my spiritual weapon over. Yeah, that's a good start. That hits. Roll damage. Yeah, fuck them up. That's nine damage. That's good damage. Uh, I will stand up. Mm -hmm. And I will do the smart thing and cast mage armor. That's a good thing. That's a good move. <laughs> good idea. And what does that turn your AC to? Uh, that turns it to, uh, uh, it becomes 15. That's good. And I believe that was an action. So you have done your bonus action, your action, you've used half your movement. I don't think you want to encroach on, uh, moving away to get an attack of opportunity, do you? Uh, no. 
Okay. Hydra buddy, it's your turn. Yes, uh, I see that these two have gotten uh, just a little, a little too close to my teapot. I would require a trance check. Yes, DC. Oh god, it's uh, let me. I zoomed all the way out so I can see all the wolves. It's DC twelve. Yep. I will I remember to remind you now. You just again. You're very lucky. You're literally just one one pass in twice now, I believe. All skill. I'm using weighted dice. Uh, yes, weighted weighted dice on the internet. I'm zooming in. Quite speedy. Look like I barely even used half my movement. You would notice what the moment you get next to uh, that spiritual weapon, the hairs on your body start to stand up on end slightly. Good. He does Good. appreciate this. Uh, he will uh, strike, concentrate the salt on the one that is um, salty. Okie dokie, go for it. Uh, that one. No, nothing you can do about that one. Absolutely nothing. Uh, so bonus action. That one does hit. I mean, you could just roll better. That's I could true. just roll better to the right. Uh, that's, that's 14, 14. My AC goes up to a 20. And then I do it again. Same one, yeah? Yeah, that one. misses, yeah. I'm afraid. This is where I'm at. And now, it is Carla's turn. Uh, Carla, you would notice there's a big fuck-off wolf in front of you. Yeah, I, I kind of noticed. And Hera's in the tree above you. Yeah. I'm laughing at you for being oh. dragged down by your trunk. Yes, you are down there right now. Uh, she'll stand up. Yep, that's half your movement. I really like that. Thinking here. Do it! End it! Now take a look, Carla. You could kill the wolf in front of you, or you could kill me. I think the choice is obvious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Hold on, I wanna do... I do like these options. I like these odds. Kill the wolf and save our group. Okay, Carla's going to bonus action disengage. Okay. Yeah, that is, I believe that's a rogue one to disengage, right? Yeah, yeah cunning exactly action. Rogue. And then yeah. I have, I, I get to move back without taking an attack of opportunity. Yep. And then I get to move back, and then I can use the rest of my movement, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to bonus action kill okay. Alex. Uh, I'm moving right next to this fucking teapot. Don't you dare touch my teapot! <laughs> you better come help! I think it only helps so many people. I know, Listen, right? I haven't activated the ability that lets me be in two places at once to kill everything yet. I think that's at later levels. Um... Then Then I'm going to have her action I'm going to have her attack this one the one that killed Dan Vengeance yeah. for Dan She's going to do I don't remember to pull that one until after he killed oh, all Oh, that's yeah. good. Roll damage. Sadly, you didn't. You can't sneak attack that. That, but that's fine. you know that. You know. Yeah. You should be able to. It's not a disadvantage, and there's a guy in five feet of it. Oh yes, no, that's that's true. Unless the, we don't count these three as people anymore, which you know, I mean, I'm down with that. But, but, but that's four. To, no, roll two two more d6 because your your sneak attack crits as well. Oh okay. Nice I, was like, I don't. I don't mind not counting these guys as people, but I feel like there's an ethical dilemma yes. that comes with that. Like, but you, I, know, I, you do manage to pling it right in the eye, and you can hear it howl as it rears its head back in pain for this. And then, as an act, uh, then as a free action, mm -hmm. she's gonna try to intimidate this one. Okay, try to intimidate it. Roll intimidation just, for me. Yeah, just after uh, after hitting it with the arrow, she's gonna yell at back away. From Alan and Balin. And then more intimidation. Please be good. Yeah. Please be good. Please be good. What happens when you intimidate yeah! a wolf? Yeah! Maybe don't, yeah? Because I don't know if you've tried to intimidate a wolf. 
Hmm. Well, I mean, I was just a crit. Yeah. I'm really happy. Yeah. Not just because it's a crit doesn't mean it's a guaranteed success. Uh, it is Dan's turn now, but Dan is dead, but his friends aren't. So they're gonna try <laughs> desperately. Um, so the first one's at disadvantage because it's right in front of the thing. Yeah! He really wants to hit. Yeah! <laughs> the boys understand. Minus seven. And then I'm gonna let Alan try. Come on, Alan. Alan, this could, you, could, you could be a hero here, Alan. No, he needs to net one. That's because there's been too many. Yeah, he needs to balance it out, doesn't he? No, he hits, and he very well could do this. No, he doesn't. He barely doesn't. Oh, oh, Alan, you could have been the hero we deserved, but no. Right, Sakar, it's your turn though. Alan and the other ones seem to have covered. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) I'm not going to learn their names. They're going to die in two encounters anyway. <laughs> God damn! Oh, I actually could make it all the way over there without having to use that. Yeah, and you wouldn't get any attack of opportunity because of the way you would move. Do it. Be the only person to stay and help Hera. Hera's in a tree, so... Yeah, Hera's fine and she can't be seen. Like, Carla didn't abandon her, she made a strategic maneuver. Well, no, because basically Hera's <laughs> hide was given up the moment she, she fired the shot. So oh, it could okay. look for her. I okay, love that Caitlyn's strategic maneuver was to hit the full health wolf as opposed to the one that's almost dead. Don't worry about it. Wait. Yeah. Well, actually, what does the other set <laughs> look like? Because they have less... They're fucking, like... Leave them be. Oh, She's you... trying to save the boys. The barbarian and the templar probably have that side covered on their own, plus the sorcerer. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're not wrong. The, the, the barbarian and templar are a tanky combination that none can compete against. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna move around Alan and Balan. <laughs> Tell them to die by themselves. <laughs> I'm leaving the robot with them. The robot's competent. That's true. The robot's very competent. Robot's done, like, I think the second most damage. And longsword. That misses. Hmm. 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 Mm. It, uh, yeah. Not much to do about that. Uh, <laughs> it's Hera's turn, and Hera uses the round to reload a uh, shell into her, her sniper rifle and looks at you, Sakar, and says, I appreciate the help, but you might want to not miss next time. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you might not want to miss that yeah. time, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Ballara, it is your turn. You have seen that there are a lot more wolves are coming, it, but perhaps this is what you want. Perhaps this this is this is the thrill a hunter gets in the middle of a hunt, facing down with other predators like themselves. Predators? They're gonna yeah. predate all over this. I'll take a shot. That one. Uh, which one? Sorry, ping that again. Uh, ah, yeah. the, the 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 full one. Okay, ready. When? Oh, that Ooh. definitely hits. Roll damage. Uh, oh, that's big damage. All right. And You've now, actually been uh, rolling really well with your damage. I've been noticing. I have. I have. Orphan will go there. We'll see if robot. we can't finish that wolf off. Come on, wolf! Yes, kill it. That death, that, shit. that super kills it. It had two health. That's how, does, how, does, how does your that. fist attack it? Like, how does how does the fist of tears work? Does it, like, just hammer arm it? Or does it just, like, rocket punch? Uh, it's got, like, a propulsion thing that fires off, so it's 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 kind of a dainty-looking robot, but since it has little propulsion systems on its arms, it gets force with it. Oh. Ooh, I like that. I like that. You, what you don't hear is the orphan and their robotic mind says, Look at the punch! <laughs> so, uh, Hanako, it's your turn. You've got a, a big wolf in front of you. You've got a hydra to your side. He is Let's do this. Quite quite nice. Let's fucking go! Alright. Warhammer time. Let's go. I'm just getting a nice sweat. Hammer time. Oh, oh. Actually, maybe I could rage. Ooh! Maybe. We're learning, boys! We're learning! 
So would you like to bonus action Rajay? Yes. Okay, Rajay it is. Now time to... If you hammer, now you do the big damage with the hammer. Or the bigger damage, I would say. Alright. Well, hammer rage. Okay. The one that says warhammer rage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, That's one hand, though. I don't know if you want to two-hand that. Did you want to two-hand it or one-hand it? Uh, let's two-hand it, actually. Yeah. Okay, roll a two-hander for me. Sorry, it, it, it cuts off, so I yeah. can't... So that you know. hits. So that's 12 fire damage to the big wolfie. He's not liking that. And now it's the wolf's turn. So these wolves, they're fighting Hanako and they're fighting Kelty. But they've noticed someone that seems to be a little bit more of a concern. So both of those wolves are going to attempt to attack Hydra. How oh, dare they? That's that fair. Is. Wait, and my, hold on, my AC does go up to a, uh, hold on, seven, shit. Six, seven, eight, so 20, 21. That 22 does still hit. Yes. That's 10. They've been rolling 10. Every single time they've rolled 10. So oh, roll, so that's 10 damage, and then roll me a DC 13 strength save. Otherwise, you're prone, buddy. I'm prone. You failed. You're prone. Yes. Right, so that's the wolves over there sorted. But now... There's a wolf over here, and it sees, and it's not happy. But it is going to make its way over here. Going once, going twice, Woo. going three <laughs> times. What? Wait. Oh my god, Will! Hi. Em, no, would dog... you like to look at the screen? My dogs are being shitheads, so I'm having to like look away from the screen a bunch. Oh, okay. That's okay. But cool. if you look at the screen, you would notice something's happened. Yeah, uh, Wolf ran by me. Can I use a reaction? Yes, you can. <laughs> wolf, use big run. Can I do big fuck you? That does hit. Roll damage. Yeah. Ever to fuck yourself. That's a Yay! It's my favorite spell. And, uh, see, I want to check something. No, I can't. I, my psionics only work on my own turn unless yeah. I'm using shield. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they could work on that one. Okay, but it now looks at Carla and Ballara. Right. So, who do I want to go? But do you want to go for the one that in, tried to intimidate its what members of its pack, oh or do I want to go for the one that? Sh I think it would make sense for it to go for the one that tried to intimidate a member of its pack. So it no longer at advantage. It's gonna try to bite um her. Did the twenty-one hit you, Carla? Yes. Welcome to unconsciousness. <gasps> Holy shit, I forgot my punch out. I'm sorry, I was looking at my schedule thing. That's fine. So the wolf reaches over and uh, digs its fangs into you, and Blara, you would notice that the individual goes seemingly limp at this. Does no good. It's K fine. Kelty, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, we will spiritual weapon. That misses. That does in fact miss. Uh, let me see if I took that. Okay, I did. Uh... I will. I will inflict wounds on it. Oh, let's do that. Because I don't, I don't want to risk the attack of opportunity. Go for it. Give it a, give it the old college try. What if? Nope. What if sadly you miss? Okay, Hydra. It's your turn. Was was Salty not going to attack with the spiritual weapon? No, I they, did. I they missed. They did. They missed. Oh, oh! I did not see that wrong. Yeah, they got an eleven and a ten. Yeah. Five. 
so Hydra's hands are full. Can I have it that he gets up without using his hands, just his legs? Roll me an acrobatics check. I want to see if you can do that cool backwards flip. You, you do, but you kind of, you don't do it on the first try. You kind of, eh, eh, you get it. And then I also need to roll an acrobatics check for the trance check. Yes, you do. You see 14. You do keep that one, though. Good. I need to. <laughs> One that looks the most wounded. Uh, yeah. I do smell blood in the water. You very much do. Misses? That misses. 16, 16 does hit, though. We might be achieving greatness. And that, that is enough to kill it, though. It only okay. had 16. Well, my trance is at 10, which means we might actually get to see some magic happen. My AC is at 22. I would say patch notes for uh, for the Templar that you are. The only thing I would suggest so far, because the damage is fine, I suggest a hard cap on the AC though, because he's uh, at it, 22 AC at the moment. Yeah, your AC increases by one for each point of intensity over five. You gain this trance. You probably do want to change that one. It's got high no, movement, which feels I fine. I mean, it's definitely broken. I don't think it's like, broken. I just think that needs a cap. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you could you could keep it as a plus five because that would mean that it wouldn't it wouldn't stack past ten. But that yeah. that's what this is for. That's what play testing's yeah. for, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you hard cap it, like three so, I knew it was going to probably be busted. I, I figured it was right the out the gate. Templar. It is yeah. the strongest Templar as it is right now. It's the one that is probably the most problematic. Uh, it's also so, the one that no one's played yet. True. But yeah, I, I knew it would probably have issues coming up the gate, so I'm just I've been taking notes. On it. That's good. That's good. I just wanted to just just because like the so the way I see it, the extra attacks, the the movement, and the damage, that's actually not a problem. But I think it's just that the AC because because he's at twenty like twenty two AC now, that might be a bit much. I would max it at maybe five or six. Yeah, um, so that way it doesn't yeah. that way it doesn't get any higher than the twenty two unless I get better armor. Or I yeah. put the AC on eleven plus. Maybe, maybe. Actually, yes, that might be. Maybe. Would, I, would I think that would require damage? some some play. Swap the damage. You swap the damage in AC. Yeah. Swap damage in AC. That would make sense. But but and yes, I, I believe have... you have one more attack. Do you not? Yes, and it will be on the one that is still alive. Go for it. Misses. That misses. I'm afraid. Carla, roll me the first death save of this campaign. Net one. Ooh, Damn. no, don't, 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 don't bet for a net one, but, but, but that's not good. That's one fail. Right. Don't we always bet for net ones on death saves? We do. No, we, yeah, always you're bet nat, we bet for nat 20s more often than not. Right, so it is the Iron Blood's turn, and one of them is going to rush over and is going to try to administer... A medicine check. I need to actually get their sheet up because they actually have a bonus in this. They've got a thing. Yes, because of the weird stats that I gave them. Okay, so well, let me... weird stats may save our elephant's life. Well, it's because like I so I, I muddled around with them with them because the idea is that they're supposed to be mercenaries. But they're supposed to be mercenaries that understand that you need to work as a team. So I figured it would make sense that I got rid of a um, uh, a, a, pl a plus skill that I didn't think they needed. Uh, and I gave them a plus skill uh, in something that I think they did need. Uh, but he nat fails. Um, can the other one get to you to try to do that? Let's take a look. Yes, but he knocks over the teapot on the way there. He <laughs> no, he, he rushes and knocks it over. So let's give. Uh... Wait, did I... oh god, I didn't. Oh no, I didn't. I just uh, minimized it. Okay, you are stabilized. Yay! You're not getting up though. You are still the fuck unconscious. I, I, I'll take stabilized. Sakar, it is your turn. Oh boy. Hi. I do what I do. I'm a fighter. You're a fighter. There's only so much flavor you can add to things. That hits, just. Oh! Close! You know what? 
He is in the last one. Is this the last one? I feel like this is the last I have, one. I will have one inner psionic dice left. Go for it. Roll me that. Roll me it. You know what? Even if you had nat one, you'd still have killed it. It has two health left, buddy. But you do, oh. in fact, save Carla from that one. And because I finished a short rest, I can do this again and use a bonus action to get a side die back. Yes, you can! I, f I actually forgot about that. I, I need to remember yeah, to that, is, that ability of you can get back a die back as a bonus action is a short or long rest feature. So I'm back to two. Wonderful. So, um, Hera is... It's Hera's turn. Hera's gonna attempt to bonus action hide. Well, she's gonna hop down, and I'm gonna say that she's gonna move over to... Probably use you guys in an attempt to hide. And let's see. 17's good enough. And then that means she gets it. She does get an advantage. And she's going to attempt to shoot the wolf. And a 20 does in fact hit. And that's 9 damage to the wolf. Ballara, it's your turn. You've saw a wolf come up to you and you saw it drag down the elephant but your you are you're fine and your uh, get, uh, your alpha companion has come across and just ended its life but you can still see there is one wolf remaining uh let's take a shot go for it that definitely hits ooh very very close still sadly alive though Oh, Skylar just went be right back. That's a bad time to be right back. Is um so it, you you've done your attack, but is there anything you want Orphan to do? Uh, I moved her. So... Oh, you did. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. My bad. I looked away just as it happened. Well, now we just sadly have to wait for Sky to return to see if this is one dead, one final dead direwolf. I'm a little bit upset with the dire wolves. I thought they were going to do more than that. I thought they would have brought down um, Kelty as well. <laughs> hey, <they've laughs> Thanks a lot. They've done plenty. Yeah. Mostly dying, but they've uh, done I mean, they, they killed Dan. Yeah. They did kill Dan. Yeah, Dan is dead. I'm, I'm sad. Poor Dan. Why? Why do you care about the nameless grunts? He has a name, we just don't care about it. <laughs> I mean, he was. Dan was good enough to, enough to help us. God damn! Because he had to. to. It's his job to help us. If he didn't help us, he probably also dies anyway. But so. Still, Jesus, fuck I'm not convinced that his name is actually Dan. I think that's just what they call him down at the pub, and he just never you know, <laughs> left the <them. laughs> You're gonna you're gonna rifle for his pockets, and he's gonna have like some long like elven name. Tara, that was a deep dive. No, no, no. Then long. he's just gonna be Dallin. It, no, his name is his God. name is Soliloquy, and you're like, what? <laughs> what you guys we're... don't know, that was a deep dive to an old game Tara did that only Alex and I were in. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid I'm afraid that one went over my head. Um, while we wait for Sky to get back, I'm just gonna quickly run and use the restroom, and I'll be Me right too. back. I'll yeah, be everyone back. uses oh, a, 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 a restroom break if you need to. You remember what happened last time we did this? Yeah, it was great. Please don't again. Please not. Now, again. now I will say there are no. Actually, there, no, 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 no. I'm not going to say anything stupid. No. God damn it! No, uh, no. I will say that the, the the actual kicking of the teapot, like the knocking it over, actually has some unforeseen consequences, such as tea being spilled. Such as tea being spilled. That's the real tragedy. The biggest tragedy there is. Uh, no, there will be uh. No, I, there's a very specific thing with, with, with Hydra, and depending on how the rest of this end of end of combat and whatever else happens after that could, could very well cause some problems until their next long rest. Yes, problems. Problems. Serious problems. Incontinence. 
<laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's not so much serious problems, it's more likely that he would Deadly fight. problems. It's more likely that he would not fight. So that any other combat involved, he might just not take part in. The deadliest. I have returned. Welcome, Welcome back. back. <sighs> Welcome back, Sky. Uh, sorry, I'm dealing with a lot of stress with my work schedule because apparently it was written wrong on the downstairs calendar and it it's basically stressing me out because apparently people are confused about my ride and stuff like that. And basically what I'm saying is it, the fact that I still can't drive is really frustrating. Oh, sorry about that. We just took a, we're taking a short break anyway because it was going to be on your turn next anyway. So figured I'd let people have a quick break. The only person that's AFK now is Caitlyn. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll, we can... It is on you, Sky, And there is only <laughs> one wolf left. All right, I'm going to destroy this wolf. Do I, it. I hope you miss now. <laughs> <laughs> do it. End it. Tickle it. Tickle it. Vigorous. Give it ye old nipple twist. That definitely hit. So you're going to kill this wolf because this wolf has two health. So, the wolf is dead. And with yes. that, the combat is finally over. Good. You have endured <laughs> several dire wolves, but you have survived. The elephant is unconscious. Dan's dead. Dan's fucking dead. Yeah, uh, so what, what state is the teapot in? The teapot got knocked over by Alan as he went to save uh, Carla's life. Yes, I, I am aware. How, how bad is the crime scene? How 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 how, how is this murderous scene look? So your teapot has fallen to the side. Its <laughs> precious juices splashed across the ground. The, <gasps> the ground still steaming from the flow of inner yumminess. Oh, not his, not his special juice. <laughs> his special juice is all over the ground and steaming. He will, he will look down. He'll, he'll kneel down. <laughs> <laughs> and he will set the teapot back upright. Is all of the, is all of the tea wasted? Every he last won't. drop. Has no words for this situation. Only a look of contempt towards Alan. Alan then turns his head and goes, "Oh, sorry, I think I knocked your um, your soup over." No words. Just, just a look of of contempt. The kind of look that lets that, that, that would let someone know, "Oh, he'll probably just let me die." Now. <laughs> That's so, sorry. I mean. Uh, I had to try and... If Carlo was, was down, I, I didn't know if... Bleeding looked pretty bad from where I was. Okay. Are you... Are you like, okay? You, you seem upset. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's okay. Are, are you sure? Because the way you're saying it's okay... Makes me feel like it's really not okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go over here and, and, and try to treat Carla's wounds. Um, about what? Is it still dark outside? Yes, it's it's pitch black. It's at the darkest point of the night now. Okay. We should probably clear out these beasts' corpses before the stench attracts more creatures. It's, as you say this, Hera would uh, shake her head and goes, No, if anything, it might work the other way around. If we perhaps keep the dead around, it might um, spurn off other would-be predators. If you say so. I'm going back to sleep. It is much too early for all this shit. I am currently trying to... Like... Fan through... The spiritual weapon to try and make it go away. 
it <laughs> so the spiritual weapon actually turns to look at you and uh, it screeches in a strange alien language. However, inside your head, you hear it say that it's time for Mama to come home. Oh, I feel, oh God, go on, go on. <laughs> I don't that's, like that. I feel that, that's strange. I, I and feel then strange it begins to like fizzle away into nothing. Oh, sir. <laughs> I'm back. And, 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 uh, before it say, says that, and even during it, I was like, you need to go away. They, they're they not supposed to know about this. Then it says to you, in a screeching alien tongue, and in your mind, it says, Mama, it's time to come home. Whoa, speaking of which, there's a spider on my wall. Yeah! <laughs> it heard the call of its people. It went from this game to your real life. Yeah, there it is. Uh, how much how much stuff for breaking tea would you say Hydra has? Uh, I would say you have enough for at least like five days. I would okay. say so. Like this this isn't like the last tea you'll ever have been able to have wasted across the ground. Okay. But um, I, he, I, but, he yeah. will scramble to try and get it brewing again as fast as possible. Okay. There's a big spider too. Holy damn! Um, what would that? B. That would uh, roll me a survival check. Spider bite. It, there's only two spiders in the United States that can kill you. I don't think it's either of them. All right. Surprise! It's both of them. <laughs> they mate it. Both of them in I one. Um, yeah, you, you managed to scramble together uh, some tea pretty quickly. Um, as this is going on, Hera kind of makes her way around over the dead wolf and looks at. Uh, the downed Carla looks at Alan and Balan and kind of have a moment of conversation as to them taking care of Carla, but uh, she then looks around Hydra, Valara, and Kelty and says, I didn't quite see. I know you appear to be bleeding, Kelty. Is everyone else unharmed? Uh, I think everybody's okay. Uh, Hydra got roughed up a bit. I think I think the three of us are the ones who who took it the worst that are still with us. <laughs> took it worse than the dead guy. Yes. Well, that's why I said still with us. No, I, I know. <laughs> let um let Alan and Balan take care of Carla. They they have spent time learning basic medical procedures even on a creature like her it should still work uh should we should we gather anything from dan's body to return to his family don't worry about that i'll um i'll make sure that i gather up what i can for now leave him to me uh so he then looks up and notices that orphan has made their way to balara's side gives it kind of a, 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 a raised eyebrow of a glance and then um just you know looks around at all of you and says we need to be a bit more prepared if something like that happens in the future. It was not obvious that those badgers were running from an attack, but we need to keep our eyes peeled and to be open to the idea that attacks are coming. Not directly. She kicks the wolf next to her. Galatean direwolves are... They are not stupid. They know basic tactics. I believe they were trying to encircle us. But then again, she looks at Valara. I figure you must have already know that part. It doesn't hurt to be refreshed from time to time. Mm, no, but... Uh, I suggest for now everyone tries to get the rest that we were attempting to get before they rudely attacked us. The smell of their blood in the air, if anything, should hopefully ward off predators, or at least predators weaker than them. 
perhaps in the morning we can harvest what we can from them. They have good meat and good furs for trade, but I wouldn't want to do that right now. No, it's far better to do it in the daylight. Agreed. I'm going back up to my perch for now to try and get some rest. I will see you all early in the morning. It's about a few more hours for sunup. She gives you a nod and goes back up to her tree. What would everyone else like to do immediately now? So, Carla, Sleep. Carla, you're being cared for by Alan and Balan. They're going to make sure that you rest well and you don't die in your sleep. So Carla has gone straight to sleep. Uh, Hanako. Hi. Hanako, what would you like to do? Hmm. I think I'm going to try to go to sleep as well. Okay, my a problem with that. Your tent got wrecked by that wolf. Yeah. Uh, I tell I tell I Hanako if she wants, she can stay in our tent. I would also point out there's now an open slot since Dan is dead. God <laughs> damn! Um, literally jumping in the bed while it's still warm. Fucking hell! Well. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dan did warm it up. Dan did warm up the bed, I guess. I, guess. I do appreciate the kind offer. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna straight up ignore <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. So are you are you ignoring uh, the offer for uh, to sleep in their tent, or...? No, I'm ignoring the uh, the take Dan's, Dan's dead bed. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> So you're going to accept their offer to go and sleep? Correct. Okay. Uh, then, uh, Kelty, are you going to go to sleep now as well, then? Uh, I want to... I want to see what, if anything... Like, I know they haven't moved, obviously, because the tokens are still where they were at. Mm -hmm. But I want to see if the... If the Trinuses have, like, done anything since the since the attack, like uh, if they've, mm -hmm. so like just a perception to see if they've. Yeah, roll me a perception check, please. They don't look like they've done anything. They seem to still be stationary. You definitely don't remember seeing them make any attempt at an attack. Okay. Uh, then, uh, I would, I would glance over at, at Hydra to make sure he's okay, because I knew he, he took some damage, and, uh, basically ask if, if, if he's okay. Um, what you, what you would see is, is that he is, he is definitely bleeding. But, um, because it takes time for tea to brew, it doesn't just pop and it doesn't just come into existence. So, uh, you would see him, like, um, basically just, like, like huddled over the, 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 uh, teapot, just, uh, the, the teapot as it, as it brews, just, like, almost, like, basically, like, his hands are, like, at, like, the sides of the teapot, like, tapping his fingers in the grass and, like, digging into the dirt while he waits for it to brew. Almost incessantly. Mm. Interesting. No response. He, you see him bleeding. He is still bleeding, but he doesn't appear to be noticing his own injuries. Okay. Uh, I'll tell Hanako if she wants to go ahead and head to the tent. Uh, she can. And I will move over to to Hydra and uh, I will crouch by the teapot and just kind of kind of watch him. Ooh, interesting. Because uh, I f just the fact that like it c it kind of comes off as like a 
like just a compulsive nature and and what not to be doing what he's doing is kind of kind of interesting i just kind of want to see that he's just he's basically foregoing his own well-being for this tea and i want to see why So Hydra would 100% know that uh, Kelty is kind of just watching him as he brews his tea and digs his teeth, sorry, not teeth, his claws into the ground. He probably also, he probably would be grinding his teeth too. <laughs> That's not exactly an, un, an untrue statement either. Like. I, I, I would ask, is, is the tea that important? Uh, what you uh what what you would get from him as a response because he recognizes that you're there um <laughs> uh is kind of him just muttering and repeating things over and over and over again um in Dolphesium. it's a language you might no. not know uh, but he would, but you would, you basically hear the same, like, you know, you know, like you, you might not know a language, but you know, like when you hear a specific word or phrase over and over and over again, like, you know, you know, they're saying something and like maybe a couple of words. Yeah. Uh, you would know that he's saying like the same, like probably like the same three or so words while like he's saying them repeatedly and starting to stutter as he just stares at the teapot. But, it's, but his words are clearly directed at you, or to you, at you. Okay. But you don't get what he's exactly saying. Hanako, are you going to take up the offer and go into their tent, or are you sitting around with them? I think I, I think about going to the tent, but I stop to look to see what's going on. Quit watching us, you fucking creeper. Yeah. <laughs> at, this yeah. Po- at this point, Balara, Hydra, Kelty, Hanako, you would hear a ringing in Carla's pack. Hmm. I ignore it. You ignore it, okay. That's a tomorrow us problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, none of us know Carla enough to think, like, it's a good idea to go rummaging through her pack. No, 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 no I get that. I just wanted to, to see if anyone thought of that, actually. What what kind of ringtone is it? Is it, like, a really obnoxious one? I was going to say, is it uh, that song from Archer, Mulatto? I, I, I want it to sound exactly like the Kim Possible beat. No, no, it's 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 what I just is. Um, the fact that she's got twelve kids is probably fucking baby shark. Um, so no one else touches it. About how long would it ring for? So it goes for about seven rings, and then it stops. Okay. Okay. I. You you would uh. I would say probably right at around like the fifth or sixth ring, mm-hmm. um, y- you would see him like, um, oh god. I would say um, at about the sixth ring, uh, you would hear you you would hear him say something. Probably still in Jolthesian, but he would say it directly at Carla. Oh. Pick up the fucking phone. Pick up your phone. You can, yeah, I mean, yeah. theoretically, you can assume it's probably something like... like yeah, can she pick talk. up the phone or no? You know, You're yeah, unconscious. What would I wake up for it? No, knowing right. it's one of my kids. Uh, no, you're unconscious. You don't like, know that your kid's calling you while you're it unconscious. <laughs> Come on, one of you others, pick it up. No, uh, no, I, they've I, chose I, not I, to. I would say around the sixth ring, he would have like said like, not, not, he wouldn't scream it yet. 
but he would direct a very like hold almost killer like phrase towards Carla and then at the seventh ring it would stop and he would immediately go back to the pot. None of y'all could have picked it up. No, they, they, we they don't, don't know you well, well enough to answer your phone. <laughs> yeah. I literally just I literally say that like I wouldn't want you rummaging through my shit if I only just met you this day. Hey, I wouldn't answer any of yours phone. Like, I've known some of you for years. I wouldn't answer your phone. I, like, if, I, heard it I going, usually like, just get spam calls so you can answer them all you want. Uh, yeah. I like, what I will say is that if someone I knew, like if one of you guys, guys' phones was ringing, and uh, and and I knew it wasn't like because obviously you guys probably have call ID. If it wasn't someone super important. If it, if it wasn't like what I would assume would be like a family matter or something, I would probably pick it up and just and and just be as obnoxious as possible. That's what I would. Do. This is what I ask for. If I specifically get a spam call, which it does say on my phone, yeah. please answer it and troll them. That's what I want. No, I'm just that person that when you answer your phone, if I hear you say "mom," I just do sexual noises in the background. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Anyway, let's if it, if it were to ring again, Kelty would probably probably try and answer it. It's not. It's gone seven times and then it stopped. Right. Um, so, is there anything anyone else would like to do, or do you want me to skip to the morning? I will say, um, uh, if no one else has anything they would want to do, I would say that when the tea finally like finish brew like finishes mm -hmm. or less uh you would see him scramble like you like you'd probably see him pull up like two clumps of dirt with his hands uh -huh. and then drop it grab his cup and hastily pour himself a glass before drinking it and taking several deep breaths and then he would turn calmly to to selty at hanako and he would say something in Dolthesian, very calmly, very not what was happening. And then you would see him tap his forehead multiple times and then go and say, sorry, uh, wrong language. What is it about the tea? What, 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 oh, the, the, the tea? Oh, what do you mean? I mean, look around you, you were... You were practically clawing and digging in the in the dirt, waiting for it to waiting for it to to be ready. And now it's like you're a completely different person. You would uh, look up at the sky, and it's still pitch black outside. Thankfully, um, he would. He, he would basically just uh, return back with a, uh, as, he, as he looks at the sky and looks back down and says, to, 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 it's, it's very, very, very important to keep my schedule. Any delays or, or, or forbearances on it. Panics, I think. I, if I don't keep the rigid, rigid schedule, Panic for, for my own safety. Lula. And that was that was more more of a panic. I, I didn't know if we would be moving right away or how soon it would be done. I just needed to, to get this as fast as possible so that I could get back on my schedule. What happens if you don't keep your schedule? Well, for, for most of us, we try to do things each, each, uh, does things differently, but for, for me, my, my own rigid schedule helps keep me from getting lost in, in my own particular reality, my own sets of truths, my own essentially my own world, as it would be, trapped within my own mind. We don't 
personally like to have that. And it's most of us try very hard to make sure we don't get locked into that because if we do, we usually don't end up surviving. Have you ever have you ever been taken off of your schedule before? Uh, well, I've I've changed schedules so, sometimes. When I was younger, I did I did things a little bit differently. Um, and you would see him pull out rations and start eating all two. So so a ration is two pounds. We know this to be fact. Yes. You would see him start eating all two pounds of his daily rations <laughs> with his teeth. <laughs> he doesn't clean his hands, by the way. Dirt, um, dirt, dirt and rations. Yeah. Yep, yeah, dirt, dirt and rations. And it was like, well, uh, there was one time during uh, my, my training to become a, uh, when when learning how to do the uh, Jothessian battle dancing, the blade dancing that we do, one time got uh, they, you know it's kind of sent me out into into uh, kind of just abandoned me in the middle of uh, Titus and told me to get my way back and either I would find a way to survive. And, and create something new for myself or the, the, the mania would go in and I'd probably end up dead. So, uh, first, first two days of that was quite, uh, taxing on, on the mind, one, one could say. He says in between bites of two pounds of rations. <laughs> Do you, you ever wonder if if this schedule of yours is something that is it's just a byproduct that is just passed down and not something that's actually needed? Uh, I mean, the fact that you said it yourself, that you've been able to change your your schedule shows that it's not something that needs to be as at least from my point of view something that is as strict and all consuming there is as, as literally digging in the dirt while so, while obsessively are, watching over a teapot there are some can live the, that have been able to live their lives without such a rigid schedule, but their mental fortitude could only be considered legendary in that kind of sense. I imagine would be would be the proper term. Um, the schedules aren't necessarily they they are a thing that we have made it but it's more like um oh you you uh you you cast magic practice it right yes they have things for our, our focuses focuses for that right i hope you channel it further yeah it doesn't necessarily need to be a schedule per se but you have to have something to keep. We we need something. Most of us need something to keep ourselves grounded, our minds anchored to to the world you see around you. We see things very very differently, and it's very easy to get essentially swept away. And, and what could be only said, described as our own reality. This schedule for me 
helps keep that from happening. Many will stick to schedules because it's it's one of the easiest ways. Other people have their own tools, their own anger. Sometimes it's a sometimes for some it could, it could be a trinket that they have a strong connection to. And like I said, some are just strong enough to keep themselves from doing that. But unfortunately, and he would hold, you know, kind of fidget slightly. He's like, I am not that strong. Not right now. By the way, you, you are right. It is the schedule is something that we have created. But, uh, like I said, not everyone needs a schedule, and so, some don't need anything. But for a vast majority of us, this is a way to keep us here. You've seen it, right? It looks directly, it stares into Selfie's Island. The truths. Do you see the truth, Delta? What do you consider the truth? Everyone has a truth. Their truth. Hey. I know it well. So do you. What is your truth? You will look back at Bilar, he'll look over at Bilar, is Bilar sleeping? I already know the answer is no. <laughs> Actually, so what? what is Bilar doing? We're aware that Bilar has not attempted to sleep and has separated themselves away from the group, but what are they actually doing? Uh, she's just uh, leaned up against the wall, keeping an eye out on things. Okay. Just keeping watch. And then we'll say, I don't know how much you heard of the conversation I had with Alara, um, but my truth is that at some point, sometime, everything on Titus will be gone. As if something, as if just pure devastation and destruction rippled across the surface of the moon. I do not know what. I can make some guesses, but sh a little short on uh, information there to make anything I'm super comfortable with on that. What I do know is, is that whatever it is, we clearly weren't prepared or adapted to survive it. We adapted to Titus. We adapted to the constant bombardment of the architect's wound. Whatever this was, they were not prepared. My truth is that I clearly only have two options. I can choose to accept that as a potential outcome and destiny of my people and simply lay down and accept that all will turn to dust at some point. Or I could embrace the truest sense of my people and take this as a forewarning of things to come and that I should find ways to adapt and evolve my people further. That is my truth. Well, when I know what my truth is, then you may be the first person to find out because as of right now 
I have no clue what my truth is, and I'm I'm not sure if I want to attempt to find out what it is. He kind of smiles and says, you can turn your back and run away with run run away from me and try to keep away from it, but but how that thing responded and looked at you I'm sorry, I don't know if it has a name I would assume it probably does, but I don't know it um I don't know what that thing was. I don't know where it came from. I can tell you where it came from. If you would have to be willing to once again look into the abyss. Because it's quite easy to see that it came from the void beyond. Just like the energy you give off when you use certain magics. He gestures, kind of wiggles his fingers in front of his eyes. (laughs) (laughs) And he would, uh, he would, he would offer you a cup of tea. I, t- I take the cup of tea and I I go to say something, but I stop myself from saying it, and I just drink it. Chunks have a way of revealing themselves to the time. As long as your mind is open to it, when the truth arrives, it should be made plenty. It should be well known to you by that point. I'm. I'm not so sure my mind is all my own anymore. He just kind of smiles and laughs slightly before he finishes his two pounds of rations. <laughs> as uh, as he then, smiles and laughs in the far background you hear the distinct sound of a strange howling beast. There you go, there you go. Thank you for providing the the sound effect. I just assumed that's what it was. (laughs) Close enough. Okay, cool. And I draw. Look up and... He will uh, pack his uh. He once the teapot is, is empty, he'll go pack his, his teapot up and uh, typically look and say, "Well, uh, I don't think uh, I don't think the uh, that the, there's going to be any bathing involved today." He kind of looks at his hands and kind of just wipes them off on his pants. <laughs> Say, well, I should get some rest now, and we should start getting ready to leave. I believe we have quite the agenda following the rest of the day. Yeah, uh, I need to get some rest before whatever that thing was decides to make its way over here. Okay, so. Everybody goes and gets their long rest. So you actually get your long rest now. So get all of your your health back, all your spell slots, all your goody goodness. Um, everyone gets everything back. I'm going to say the Hanako goes over to there. You go over to your tent. Um, so you do get all your goody goodness back. Um, as time goes on, the sun starts to rise. Um, and some of you, you're still deep in sleep. Um, Carla, you get all your health back, and, uh, you wake up before everyone else. 
And as you wake up, you feel like your hydro? phone vibrating. Yeah, I think Hydra's still awake too. Oh, yeah, no, I know Ballara didn't sleep, but I'm just saying that. Uh... Um, Carla will pick up her phone. Yawn and go, hello? Bitch, what uh, the fuck you want? As you, uh, so do you do you pick it up without looking at who it is, or do you, do you just go straight for it? Uh, actually, yeah, you're right, she'll look who it is. Okay, so the name that appears is Dirk. Oh boy. And you would see that you did have one missed call from Blake several hours God ago. damn your ass! <laughs> Mom, I'm in jail again. Yes, yeah, you, you, you see that you had a missed call several hours ago from Blake, and the individual trying to contact you now is Dirk. She'll pick up the phone and go, Dirk, honey, everything okay? Why is Blake calling me, telling me that I need to call you immediately? I have no idea. Something about attempting to call you and you not picking up? I was a little busy. Bro, was me a deception check, please. No, 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 like, oh. she's gonna finish. I was unconscious. So, I guess you are enjoying your golden years in a <laughs> manner different to what we thought. Mommy might have decided to go on a little adventure, darling. Ugh. Please do not refer to me as darling. I have a name. Use that. Hmm. Okay, Gary, you're on one of your moods again. I am not in one of my moods again, but I don't <laughs> like being bothered in the middle of a very busy business venture by Blake of all people. At this point, you would hear that there are definitely um, there's a lot of noise in the background. You could hear. Carla's uh, gonna get a bit of a sad look on her face if anybody's watching. I doubt anybody is, but she's gonna go. Are you doing all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm in the middle of a, a work venture at the moment, so I've had to take some time to the side. Okay. Work's going all right then. Yes, it is going fine. I'm at a. Like I said, I'm at a get together for it now. That's good, sweetie. Dirk. You, you, what, sorry, was that last bit? You cut out there. I heard that that's good, sweetie. Uh, Dirk. You, you said uh, you wanted to call me Dirk. You, you hear a groan. He goes, yes, if you have to call me that name, call me that name. What else would you want me to call you? We've went over this, mother. I changed my name. That's right. Oh, uh, could I roll a history check to try to remember what he changed it to? Yes, roll me a history check. Let me pull up my sheet because I had to refresh. Maybe the elephant looks for a History, history, history. Oh. You actually uh. don't remember. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not used to your new name. Can we go over it again? I'm, I'm, I'm still groggy from. <laughs> so going unconscious. You hear a you hear a long, deep, kind of exaggerated sigh. You can almost feel someone pinching the bridge of their nose through the phone. And they go, I told you, mother, my name is not Dirk. I have legally changed it. My name is Dominic. Please refer to me as my actual name. Dominic. Of course. Of course. Beautiful name you chose. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ma mother. I I must go. There's um, there's a, a work party that I need to speak to. I I, I must okay. go. I apologize. I, I love you. Please contact Blake, and then you hear it hang I up. I... Damn. Yep. Okay. Carla's just gonna kind of clutch her phone, and she's got like tears flowing. Damn, down her face Devin. For it. <laughs> So, so this conversation was heard, right? As you could hear this conversation. There was no attempts at a stealth check, so as far yeah, as no, I'm she's, concerned, yeah. Yeah. Um, she's gonna pick, and she's gonna try to get back to, like, 
as you're, as you're trying to dial the blank, Hydra will be like, don't worry if he does things on his own too much. Sometimes someone needs to go their own way for a little while. He's a good boy. Just right back. <laughs> I don't know him. I can't make that assertion. Uh, no, she's just gonna say, he's a good boy. He's just... He's a good boy. As you, uh, do you hear that, you hear that the, the phone rings uh, once or twice on Blake, and then it goes uh, straight to voicemail, and you hear Blake's voicemail, which is, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, I can't uh, come to the phone at the moment. Um, if you're contacting me about any of the uh, alleged crimes that I've done, speak to my lawyer, don't speak to me. Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Beep. Hello, sweetie. It's it's mother. Um, apparently, you tried to get a hold of me last night, and I'm sorry. I was. Uh... Mom's gonna talk to you about that when you call back. <laughs> I probably should have told you children a little bit something else, but uh, better to be mad at mother later. Love you. Bye. So uh, those people that were awake, so uh, Hydra Balara. Uh, you would have heard both of those conversations. Obviously, you wouldn't have heard the other side, but you, you heard both of those conversations completely. I would be practicing his his, his blade dancing routine. He was like going through the steps and the routines of it. Uh, and would just kind of be like, well, that's who tried to call you last night. Yes, apparently. Oh, God. I might... I have not exactly told most of my children I was going on this grand adventure. Are you required to tell tell people everywhere you're supposed to be? Uh, oh no, but I know they wouldn't have with none of them would have exactly been pleased. I know Ren wasn't completely pleased when I made this decision. But I figured better ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. That's usually how it goes best. Asking, you shouldn't have to ask for permission to do something that you want to do as long as you're not infringing upon anyone else. They just worry about me. I'm, I'm their mother. I worry about them. For their mother, shouldn't they have more faith that you can handle yourself? After all, you handled them. Some days I don't know if I'd be. <laughs> All little troublemakers, a lot of them. Even. They're all good. They're all very good children. Even their. Dominic. As you are having this conversation, Hera has pulled herself from a tree and uh, has made her way over uh, to Balera. Uh, Balera, uh, uh, is it? Um, have you been trying to hide the fact that you haven't slept, or are you just like, no, I haven't slept? Yeah, what of it? Oh, no, no, I'm asking out of character, sorry. <laughs> no. Yeah, she's not trying to hide it. Okay, so um, Hera will call, like, raise an eyebrow at you and go, Have you not slept? Uh, yeah, whatever. Do you think that that's a wise move? It's fine. No, it's not fine. I mean, I understand you weren't hurt, but... That's not a good thing. You you can't keep yourself awake. I can and I did. She then looks around and notices that there's, you know, a bunch of people that can listen. And so she says, do you mind accompanying me over to one of these wolves? I think we can use its pelt and I would like some help with it. Of course. 
and then she's going to make her way all the way down to the one furthest down here. And we'll kind of bend over and, and pull out a, a short knife to start trying to, de to uh, defer the wolf. <laughs> and, and as she does, she's going to turn and, and look at you and is going to try and say what she says in a hushed voice. So let's... Uh, I'm going to roll a stealth check. Let's go do it. Probably. Let's big stuff. Um, so she's trying to cut into the uh, the wharf and, and but is talking to you and says, "Right, why are you keeping yourself awake? No one else is listening. What, what's the deal here?" Does it matter to you? It matters to me because you're one of the people that I'm partly responsible for. Right? On a hunt, we're all responsible for ourselves. No, no, no. Take that hunt bullshit out of here. This isn't a hunt. This is a group. This is more than just killing things. Why are you keeping yourself awake when you know that it'll be a detriment to your own health? I... I still don't think it's any of your business. Well, I'm making it my business. You are? Yes. But I'm not sure why. Okay, I don't know if you get it, but... I actually do give a shit about everyone in this group. I may not know most of you, and I get that I, I'm not exactly a talker, but that doesn't mean... That I'm gonna let you do something that's detrimental to your own health. Hey, I'm doing fine. Are Watch you me. doing fine? Do you need to do a deception roll for that? Are you actually doing fine? Uh, you know, one exhaustion. She's got dark circles up her eyes, probably. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if the deception would matter. No, 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 no. They, they know. They know. Um. You're not doing fine. You kept yourself awake for a full night. That's not fine. Are you trying to get something from me? I don't understand why you care. Wait, no. Why would I... Tr what? What would I be what? trying to get from you by asking if you're okay? How far are they out of curiosity? Well, uh, uh, very far. Well, as, as far as they are, and Hera got a big 24 stealth check. So you um, can't really make out what she's saying. Yeah, I got no sh I got no fucking chance. Well, I'm not exactly unconnected to people that can get someone like you far. It wouldn't be the first time somebody was nice to me to get something. Listen, I, I get that, I do, but I'm not asking you because you're <coughs> the daughter of the best huntress in the world. I'm asking you because you're part of our team and you haven't slept for a full night. Great, and I'll let you know if that becomes an issue. But it is an issue. You haven't slept. It doesn't matter if it becomes an issue. How do you know if I need sleep? Because everyone needs sleep. Even the elves. I mean, they don't call it sleep. They like to fancy it up with trance. But even they need some form of rest. Well, maybe I got sleep and you just weren't watching. <laughs> Did you? Did I? <laughs> uh, Bolara bites her lower lip. She's not good at lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just roll. A, uh, I'm gonna roll a survival because uh, Dara is actually trying to uh, de-skin this wolf. Damn. Uh, she's doing a fucking good job of it as well. Um, so she's, she does that and then she pulls out the knife and just stabs it into like the ground a second and 
it has the wolf's blood all over her hands and says, Listen, you're not a very good liar. I mean, that's a good thing in on itself. But my job in this team is to watch everyone's backs. That's why I hide in the tree with a rifle. I'm not doing it because I'm running away from the fight. I'm not doing it to avoid confrontation. I do it because it's the best place I can be to watch all of your backs. Now, I'm not just watching your backs in the middle of a fight, but what you're doing outside of that fight. And you not sleeping is not a good move. It puts you in danger. It makes everyone on this team in danger. If you're not well rested, you're sloppy. If you're sloppy, you make a mistake. If you make a mistake, you die. Or someone else does. Can I make an insight on that? Yes, you can. And then uh, tell me what you're looking for. Uh, but roll the dice first, and then tell me what you're looking for. I'm can... trying to determine what what her uh, her motivations are in in talking to me. Or is she legit, or is she uh, doing this? So it's at disadvantage because of one point of exhaustion. Yeah. So that so you can seemingly tell that there seems to be some actual like there's some actual emotion in the voice. It's it's a bit like you're getting a bit of a telling off, but it's not like a it, 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 it's not like a... You've been told off by your mother before for improper hunting uh, critique or for, for, for not holding your, your weapon in the right way or, or not pulling it fast enough. And that's... When you've heard that before, you, you know very well the tone of someone talking down to you because they're disappointed. This is not a tone of disappointment. You can tell that for a fact. Okay. Uh, she said something about making mistakes. Uh, yeah. And Ballara does consider the words. Uh, she's sleep deprived, so she probably is a bit slower in response than is comfortable, but that is how it goes. Uh, and she very stubbornly. Uh, says, I don't make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. I don't care if you're the Iron Empress, I don't care if you're the fucking best hunter in Galatea, I don't care if you're the scion of all Soulstorm Elves ever. Everyone makes mistakes. I can't make mistakes. You can, because you're a person. Lies! <laughs> That's not the truth. We're all just objects. <laughs> you can make mistakes, and if you keep this I've got to be better than everyone else attitude, then you're going to make mistakes. And I'm not going to let another bunch of people get themselves killed. If I die out here, then I deserve it. No, you don't. That's not how this works. I'm gonna te I'm gonna teach you something that I bet your mother never taught you. Out here, really staying out here, not going on a hunt and then going back home, but trying to live out here, trying to build something out here. It's not about one person. It's about a team of people. Right, and I get that. It's why I did what I did. No, you don't understand. By staying awake, you make yourself a target. Maybe I want to be the target. Why? I would think that'd be obvious. No. It's not obvious. Why do you want to make yourself a target out here? If they're coming for me, then there's more of them to kill. <sighs> this isn't about how many things you kill. I get it. 
Listen, I... I treated you improperly when I first saw you. I shouldn't have put the pressure on you that I assume everyone else does. But the fact of the matter is, staying alive out here doesn't matter if you've killed a hundred of these things, gestures towards the wolf, a thousand or two. It doesn't matter how many you kill. Out here, that, that, is, that stands for nothing. Back in the cities, yeah, sure. And yes, your mother is the best huntress on this world. And that's a noble title, I'm not going to besmirch it. But you're not just some huntress anymore. Then what am I? You're a member of our team. I'm a huntress on your team. No, you're a person on our team. Is there a difference? Yes, there is. A person has more to their life than just hunting and killing things. Then I suppose I'm content with not being a person. Are you... Listen, well, think what you want to think, do what you want to do, but you need to understand that when we go out here, we have to have each other's backs. If you no, want to just have my back by killing, do that. Then I will. Damn. All these people here, they're gonna look up to you because of a name. But no matter what you choose to do, by killing everything in the jungle or actually listening to what I'm trying to say, you are more than just a name. You're still a person. One of those things matters a lot more than the other. Yes. The fact that you're a fucking person. You done? I guess I am for now. <laughs> the savagery, holy shit. <laughs> I was not prepared. I was. I'm always prepared for Savage Tara. <laughs> That's the character. That is the character. No, that is the character. Uh, um, while this was going on, Carla realized what like time it was, and she's like, I haven't started breakfast! And now she's just rushing around getting stuff ready for breakfast. Um, well, there, there are, there's plenty of wolves around if you want to make wolf meat. Uh, she'll do that, yeah. Uh, at this point, uh, Hera will go and poke the, her head into the tent of Kelty and Hanako and say, First light, ladies! Wake up! Uh, when Hera pokes her head through, uh, Kelty is just laying there already awake, just, just thinking. What is Hanako doing? Hanako is already awake, but she's making something out of, um, she's like, uh, she ha she's crafting something. What is she crafting? She's, she, she has, like, a bunch of, like, um, twigs and flowers and stuff, and she's basically trying to make something. Okay, well, whatever you two are doing in here, just, um... Pack it up, I want to get moving as quickly as we can after breakfast. Um, well, this is- has Bellara returned to, uh, uh Bellara appears to be down there still. Uh, I mean... Yeah, she's just kind of looking at the ground. <laughs> yeah, oh. okay, while, while, uh, dinner's, like, kind of cooking and- Yeah, breakfast, while it's kind of cooking, she's gonna go down to Bellara. 
and ask, um, dear, I noticed you didn't eat, um, any of what I prepared yesterday. Was it not to your liking? Do you have something you'd rather eat or any dietary restrictions I should know about? I'm vegan! I only <laughs> eat children. No, 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 I... You were being... You were being adopted. Do not resist. <laughs> <laughs> that the portion that would go to me could be better off with someone else. I... Honey... I'm used to feeding 12 children, trust me. We've got plenty. That's... So there's more than enough for you, too. No, that's fine. I... I'm okay. Is you there... act as though you have a choice in the matter. Uh, Carla's just gonna look at her. Will, will she be able to tell she hasn't slept? You are. Uh, yeah, I mean... Roll would be a perception check. Roll me a yeah, perception. Yeah, I, I, I want to percept that. Percept that. I'm gonna percept the fuck out of it. Yeah, yeah, I did percept the fuck out of it. Yeah, you can. As as Tara said when um, Hera was speaking to Valera, it's very obvious she's a bit not all there. She's her eyes are starting to darken uh, from a night of of lack of sleep. Did you not sleep well, dear? I mean. Was it Why something too do hard? people care? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, such an honest answer. I wanna, you know what? I get, love it. No, no, get hold inspiration on, hold on. for that, because that's the fucking most honest answer I've heard in this entire session. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm living for it. Would you like to know the truth about that, dear? Sure. I mean, I've already had several truths skewed at me, so go ahead. <laughs> oh, good. It's because you're Ballara, and I care about you, and we're teammates. Ballara's eye just twitches a bit. Although I can't remember your last name, dear. I apologize. Oh! I'm horrible. Oh my god. I do apologize. I'm horrible with names. I know Herod. The deer seemed very, um, very, and um, Hydra seemed very happy with the last name, but I apologize. I'm, I'm I, I can't even remember it. my own kids' names. You don't stand no, a chance. No, she, okay, she knows her name. And my fucking head literally pulled Dominic shit just, out of nowhere. Let me just, let me just pop this here back in, in the chat. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> if you don't remember it, then it's not that important. <laughs> Last name's usually rarely on. Hey. Unless it's important to you, dear. Then it is. It's important to me, but it doesn't need to be important to anyone else. Well, if it's important to you, then I'd like to learn about it. Uh, so? She kind of like cocks her head to the side like, are you for real? Yep. Carla's just giving you a big old smile. My last name is Indica. Oh, that's a pretty last name, dear. <laughs> yeah. What's so special about it? <laughs> yeah. I think Hera might be able to better explain it to you. Oh, but I want to hear it from you, dear. You know <coughs> it's important, too. That's you. Thank you. Right, um... Well... I'm not sure if you know of any malady, Indica. Uh, can she do a history check to see if maybe Ren mentioned it to her? Uh, do a history check because you have heard the group mention it already. So do yeah. a history check. I oh! Know. Uh, I know! So you try to remember, but the, when you try to remember... Oh, 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 no, that's a concussion. Oh. Uh, I am concussed. She, yeah, she winches a little bit and says... Honestly, dear, I, I have no idea who that is. I'm sorry. Is it your sister, mother, father? Oh. Your dog. <laughs> your dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a uh, 
I, I would say someone of importance. Possibly very important in terms of status on Galatea. She uh, is my mother. I, uh, are you not from Galatea? Oh, no, dear. I'm, I'm from, uh, okay, what is, like, the planet with, like, what, Trizon? That's where? Zion. Yeah, Zion. 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 You know, Raven's father in Teen Titans, Trizon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let okay, we all know I pronounce shit badly. Leave me be. It's okay. And she'll go, I'm, I'm from Zion, dear. Well, actually, I don't know if I'm from Zion, but I grew up on Zion. Let's just say that. All right. Uh, my mother is the Grand Huntress on the planet here. Oh, that sounds lovely. What's a Grand Huntress? <laughs> well, as the name would imply, it is a Huntress, and okay. she has earned considerable status through her actions. Uh, the title of Grand Huntress is only given to one individual as far as I know. That's nice. <laughs> this is fucking awful. No, 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 she's being, she's being serious. It is nice. Wait, uh... And why do you care? Well, because it matters to you, dear. Right, but why do you care? I, I just said, dear. It matters to you, and I really want to get to know you. We're teammates. And you seem like such a lovely young woman. <laughs> well, this has been entertaining. <laughs> But I should probably get to doing something, probably, you know, scouting around, making sure it's all good. I'll how, talk to you later. How, hold on. You, I'm going to go die now. <laughs> hold on. Do you want something to eat first? I could even give you a ration. No, no, I'll, I'll eat when I get back. Okay. Well, I hope look forward to talking to you again, dear. <laughs> <laughs> she grabs Orphan's arm and just drags it away. <laughs> oh my God. And like, as she walks away, Carla yells, Your little robot friend is such a cutie! Uh, Orphan would give a little curtsy and then keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> and Carla's gonna go back to making breakfast. Um, Hydra will particularly watch which way Ballara goes and will try and... Like stealth after her, essentially. Ooh. Hydra, like I, I want him to make a stealth roll because I want to see if Carla can notice. Yeah, I. You, you did say you wanted to stealth after Ballara, so roll a stealth check. Right, uh, Carla, if you wanted to try. Oh no. no, you don't. That that concussion. Ooh, real bad. Oh, ah. for Kelty though. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not gonna try and like stop him to talk to him I just want to stop him long enough to hand him a a piece of paper with something written on it Ooh. I just looking for this yeah no uh, he will uh, he'll do a little kind of a moment like sorry you do like a quick uh, quick like kind of nod bow as he continues to walk gracefully but quietly behind Valara as she goes out and does her scouting and I will just head over to the to the campfire where breakfast is being cooked, and I will ask Hera if uh, she needs help with breaking anything down or or just help with anything in general. Um, she's uh, kind of warmed herself a little bit by the fire and just says, um, "Yes, I've managed to defer one of the points over there." Uh, to defer one of the, the dire wolves. Uh, if you want to help, I would suggest trying to defer them, trying to get the meat off of them. The meat will be good for us to consume, and the fur will be good for trading. Um, Sakar, before breakfast, do you mind just coming with me? I want to check on one of those trees. I think it's an awakened tree, and I want to make sure that it doesn't cause us any danger. 
I'll let you guys know when breakfast is ready. I and forgot I'll help with those wolves when I'm done. I'd probably be more used at getting rid of the tree monsters than carving up corpses. And then she's gonna take you all the way over to this tree over here. And then now to butcher this wolf. Out out of sight, she will then turn to you and say, "I believe you've got my note." I'm gonna do a stealth check for her. I believe you got my note. Yes, the message came across quite clearly. Now, don't pretend that you don't recognize me. I saw it in your face when you saw me. I was a bit surprised to see another pirate working for the Iron Blood. I'm not a pirate, not anymore. Do you understand? Oh, of course. Good. Listen, it has to stay that way. If you truly need a reason to keep it to yourself, I'm more than happy to oblige. How do you mean? You're a pirate. I was one. We both know what I mean. Don't <laughs> treat me like an idiot. The piracy was more a means to an end for me. I I didn't care so much about all that that they did as I did about sticking it to the squids. I'll make it simple for you. If you need reason to keep it to yourself, I will provide you some of my earnings from the expedition. <laughs> <laughs> More money. That I don't. I don't have a reason to turn down that offer since you're since you've been so generous. Although I didn't intend on outing you to the others, unless honestly, unless it suited me. Well, now it doesn't suit you because keeping it to yourself gets you more money. Although I have to ask, why hide it? They don't strike me as the type to care about anything other than their own dysfunction. Listen, some people still want me. It's just the one copper credit as part of my earnings. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting. Some people out there hold to old grudges which I understand. I've spent a lot of time making sure that those people can't find me. <laughs> so this is supposed to, this planet's supposed to be your little refuge, your hiding place. She crosses her arms. I guess you could say something like that, but not as insidious. Well, like you said, I don't have a reason to rat you out to the others at present. Besides, you're a bit too, bit more useful in in this setting than some of the others are. So, the longer we have you watch, I have you watching my back. The further along I'll get in my goals, I think. Exactly. I needed to get that out in the open because I wasn't going to risk you deciding that maybe you would open your mouth to someone before I had the chance to at least explain. Oh, don't worry. Your your secret will be safe for me. With me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dumb, I already forgot your secret. Stars. She starts to walk away and she says, that tree's awakened, by the way, but it's not going to cause any problems. It's just standing there. Menacingly. <laughs> Menacingly. Um, as this was happening, Menacingly. and as breakfast is still cooking, uh, Carla's going to ask uh, Hanako to follow her. Ooh. Uh, also, Kelty, I know you wanted to do uh, a scavenge on the wolf. Roll me a survival. Okay. What are you looking for particularly? Are you trying to get both, or are you focusing more on the meat or more on the fur? 
Uh, I'm gonna attempt both. Okie dokie, roll me that survival then. Okay. You might try and keep the knot. Yeah, that's actually really good. So yeah, add two pounds or so one ration, two pounds of dire wolf meat and a okay. one complete dire wolf fur to your okay. inventory. Right, but uh, Carla and Hanako. This guy. Mm -hmm. Follow the big elephant, mama. <laughs> Carla is gesturing to follow. Now, dear, I was hoping I could ask you a favor real quick, if you don't mind. Well, two sure. things, actually. One, where on earth do you get those clothes? My, one of my daughters would absolutely adore it. Well, I'd make them myself, actually. I'm quite talented. Oh, wow. Do you know how to make clothes in a smaller size, perhaps? Like, yay big? And she makes the, the like, a very small, like, between her hands size. Like, more what you'd think for a doll. Oh, sure. Of course, oh, darling. I, 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 would, I would pay or do something for you, obviously. But my, my dear Diana would love it. Oh, why, certainly. There's a little glint in her eye at the word payment. <laughs> <laughs> Just like real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, also, I was wondering... Would you be able to take a picture of me with that plant over there? Oh, of course. Thank you. I want vengeance. And Carla's just gonna, like, do a giant thumbs up with both of her hands, like, at the plant and just grinning. Oh, like a real mom pose. Yes! God. A I was super figuring it's gonna be mom pose. I was thinking the equivalent of the... the uh, Middle-aged, redneck, white guy with the big holding the fish. <laughs> <laughs> the big tender pose. Does Hanako take the picture? All right. She takes the. Uh, she she gets out a camera and takes the picture. Well, no, she would have handed her her phone. Yeah, so. you take yeah. She phone. hands her the phone. You have the phone, so. All right. Because you don't have a camera. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I meant to say she handed the phone. All right. Um, she go. goes back, takes and goes, oh, this will be just perfect. And then she works on a text message to the twins okay. going, this thing apparently can swallow me, can, uh, this thing can swallow me whole. Mother's having fun. Love you. The moment you hit send, you get a message back saying this number is now disconnected for non-payment. Oh! <laughs> Cursed. Carla's just gonna sigh and she'll be like, Those two, I swear to God, I wanted to get them back for all the hair they took from me as they were children. Elephants don't have hair. Does Carla have hair? <laughs> what no, are no, you no, talking okay. about? No, she was. it was a joking thing. Like how they say like the kids make your hair gr gray or fall out. That's was what she was doing. She was making that joke. Well, she should tell it better. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But yeah. Uh... <laughs> so since it wouldn't even send to like her freaking kids, she'll... When sent to the twin, she'll send it to Ren. <laughs> that one gets sent, and then you get her a message back that says, "Ah, a Galatean man plant." And she'll type back, "I, I got you a sample, dear. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. Love you." And then it just gets back a, 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 a an emoji of a robot face. <laughs> <laughs> God, your kids are the fucking worst. <laughs> Carla's kids are good. I'm really waiting good. to get a message back from one of them that says, new phone, who dis? <laughs> that's what that's what Hex should have done instead of the fact that the, the no, no, text no. couldn't be sent. I it's have just that specific someone... <laughs> situations. I, I've worked out specifically what's going on with all the kids, and I know what's going on with the twins. So. I'm very disturbed. 
Like yeah. Hex like has like the fucking chart from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, but it's what the kids. Yeah. yeah. I have that for all your characters. Yeah, Carla's just got a bit of a pout on her face and she's like, I was so hoping to send this to the twins. Darn them. Yeah, knowing them, they've either broken their phones, not paid for it, or not told the ATF that they need more money A-A-F. for the phones. AAF, that they meet, need more money for the phones. Hanako goes over and, and pats um, Carla on the trunk. There, there. Are you sure you can? Roll me an animal handling check. <laughs> yeah! Animal handling! For some reason, their number li- linked to a something called a TGI Fridays. <laughs> you give a good pat to the you, to the you, trunk. You give a good pat. TGI Fridays won the restaurant wars. <laughs> There's only TGI Fridays now. <laughs> and now Han- Hanako will be cursed. She's like, oh, I was telling you about my daughter who the clothes would be for. And so she scrolls through and she selects a picture of Diana. And it's just this, it's a fairy girl also (laughs) wielding a giant hammer like Hanako. She's like, she's a barbarian too, dear, just like you. (laughs) There's There's actually nothing in the picture. No, it's it's a tiny fairy. (laughs) There's no phone. There is. It's, it's, a it's, it's a bar, so... God damn it. No, no, none no, of no, us no. actually exist. No, no, no. And so she'll show, and she'll show the picture to Hanako. My, she awfully is tiny, but I sure, I sure think I could give it a go. Yes. It was always trouble finding clothes for her. Especially when she got them tore up when she got so angry so often. You just She's had to shop girl. in the toy section. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Leave her alone! <laughs> she got pissed about that. I think her strength could rival yours, dear. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, with that, we'll, we'll say that your characters go and do some other little bits and you reconvene uh, for breakfast. And yep. in the next session, we'll pick up from where oh, we are. Should Carla roll a for survival for the wolves? Because she said she was going to do that too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going to do a, a, a wolf, roll me a wolf. Tell me, are you prioritize? Are you trying to get both? Are you prioritizing meat or are you prioritizing the fur? She's going to prioritize the fur first. Okay, roll me a uh, survival. See, well, that was. I mean, I God have... damn it! You wreck the to... fur. Yeah, I, I right. was gonna ask Tara uh, how because she said Bolar was gonna do scouting, and I was gonna ask uh, how far out oh, I, did you scout? I had a thing I was gonna do, but uh... oh, go ahead, go ahead. All right, and I did send Alex what the note said. Yeah, good, I drew basically keeping her and eyes. Um, he can still see her essentially as he moves through the forest. Yeah. Bolara was gonna very as carefully as she can, just kind of walk to a place not far from the camp, but out of earshot and hopefully out of sight. Mm-hmm. Yep, you could 100% yeah. do that. Yeah, like, I don't know. Where would a spot be, like, up there? Uh, yes, that's the way you came. So you could easily go up there. Um, I would say we would probably put you, like, at the top and we would probably say that, like, it's actually off of this map. Like, it, it's further back the way you came. Uh, but not so far that you could be in serious danger, but enough that you're really out of earshot from the camp. Would, would you roll a perception check to see if you could see Hydra then? Yes, are you uh, checking to see if anyone would follow you? Yeah, I suppose she would. Okay, my survive my self was a 16, so if you got above that... Yep, I just I, I scrolled back up to check it. No, I'm afraid not. You are tired after all. Right, yeah, so... Ballara just gives a quick look around to make sure there's nobody following her. Obviously, she's sleep deprived and rushing about. Yeah, he so, does blend in with the trees. He is green after all. <laughs> uh, after seeing that nobody's there, she uh, uh, she gets really pale and uh, starts shaking, and then she vomits. Uh, uh, and then proceeds to uh, to. Hit herself and say not good enough. Uh, oh, I imagine that. How many times do you hit yourself? Probably a couple. I imagine that 
maybe after like the second or third time, Hydra would sprint out and grab your hand. I, I will say, as this is happening, suddenly Carla looks around. My mother's senses are going off. Okay. Um, that so, was a joke. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. Uh, so what we'll do is because uh, because of the way you're you're trying to grab her, I'm gonna count it as a, a grapple check. So just do do a do a, a athletics or a strength check against uh, Valara's athletic strength checks. Uh, now remember, you're at disadvantage because of. Um, it is a disadvantage. Yeah. So a seven. So yeah, you imagine to to grab a hold of her hands, kind of like at the wrist, to stop her from hitting herself. Yeah. Uh, Quit hit yourself. Quit hit yourself. He punches you instead. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do it for you. Pow, pow, pow. Uh, panic immediately crosses Bolara's face as she sees you, uh, and she's just, how long have you been watching me? Hydra. And, and Hydra looks down at her and does... He doesn't smile, actually. This is a very straight face of his. Not gay in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he looks he looks kind of down at you um, and kind of just like, would you like a rhetorical answer in that I've been watching you since the very beginning, since I first met you on this planet? Or are you just talking about this, this string of events? Because that would also be from the beginning, but, you know. Ha! <laughs> Yay! Different, different levels. <laughs> How about when I left the camp? The whole time. Others might not notice it, or they might inquire about it, but... I was awake with you the whole night, except for when I took a nap and you took watch. I'm not so foolish as to know that you weren't awake, that you were awake the whole time. Right, and are you going to talk to me about that too, or...? No! Why would I do that? Okay. You're a grown woman, you can take care of yourself. Exactly. Thank you. But... I do also have my own personal goal to make sure that you stay alive. That's why I came out here just in case, because if you aren't at the top of your game as capable as you are, a badger could kill you. And frankly, I'd rather not have that happen so early on after just meeting you. Right. Meeting. After I just staked my claim on you. <laughs> he has marked his territory. <laughs> I'm not gonna die to a badger. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm weak as shit. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm not exactly as strong as well, pretty much almost everyone down there is stronger than I am. I don't know if you've noticed. I'm not exactly God's gift to muscle. Motherfucker, we just saw you tear through those goddamn dire wolves! But technically, his strength is lower than ours, I think. That's yes. true. I don't know. What's your strength? My strength is a 12. My dex is a 20. Yeah. My strength is a 12. We're equals! You have a trunk that can grab things. <laughs> My strength is a 20. Yeah. And mine is a 19. Most of the people here are, 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 are probably stronger than him in, in most senses. He cannot pick, pick them up or anything like that. He's not that strong. Looks like, and the fact that you can't even get out of a grip like this. You're right. That's not good enough. Because I know you're more. I'm not trying to put pressure on you or anything like that. You do that well enough on your own. Then what are you trying to do? Looks and we'll, we'll inspect her face where she punched herself. Is there, is there a bruise starting to form? Is it, is she, it? she was beating her body. Oh, her body. Okay. Yeah. He will inspect where she hits and we'll give it like, like, well, you know when you like dig into it with your knuckles? When you dig into something like that with your knuckles, he would do that? Mm-hmm. Or she, or she. Roll me a medicine check. I'm good at these. By that, I mean I'm terrible at these. How hard would you say you were going on yourself? Um, with Valara, was she like actively trying to cause physical damage to herself? 
Yeah, full force. Oh yeah, yeah. You would notice that there's there's definitely going to be some bruising. Nothing's broken. Like she's, you would assume that she's not, like in her sleep deprived state. She doesn't have the strength to break her own yeah. bones, but she's definitely going to have some bruises. I didn't give you permission to touch me. He, he smiles and he lets go of her hand. Like that's what I was hoping to hear. Don't lose fire on me yet. <laughs> that's... Listen. What you think of yourself? How some of the people here think of you? That's on them. I'm not here to tell you what you should or shouldn't do, what you think or shouldn't think. I... Just know that I've already made it my own part of my own personal goal to make sure that you survive, succeed, and flourish. And flowers tend to struggle to flourish when you break them at the stems. Are you saying I'm a flower? He he, he pulls out his flower, the, the pen that has the flower on it, and he's like, we all are. As strong as we are, we're still fragile. We still all have a... We're all still going to waste away. We're all going to die. And we are quite frail, regardless of how strong we get. One well aimed place by even the weakest of creature. Throat, eyes, dead. Snapped right there. How much you can do after that? Right. But flowers can also be sturdy come back year after year, even after their supposed death for the season. Don't assume because I attribute to a flower that I think you're weak. I need you to promise me something. You don't want me to tell people? Don't tell anybody anything that you saw out here. He kind of he kind of gets down on both his knees. And the pose. <laughs> and he smiles at her and he's just like of course not none of their business also didn't he already propose at one point kind of simply he didn't know if i told helena he's just he's just culture sexual yeah he's culture sexual <laughs> uh, i won't know so he's a weeb I can trust you on that, right? He takes a deep breath, put the, put the hand on his heart, almost uh, sarcastically, <laughs> almost just like, your lack in faith wounds me so. Yes. I have never lied to you. Never lied to anyone here, technically. I've stepped foot on this planet. I know I might not give off the most trustworthy vibes, but... You, your secrets are safe with me. In return, however... When you, uh... get in the mood to do this stuff to yourself... <laughs> prefer it... if you have a way to let me know... Well, that way I can at least stop you from crossing a line that I think might be too far. Hey. And he... What, what is it with everybody on this outing? Why are you all like this? I can't speak for them, but I've already given you most of my reasoning, though you seemed rather upset that when I, when, I, when I pointed at us using one another. I think that's a cultural thing. Um, having, having uses and being beneficial to, to one another is how a community on a, in a place such as Titus thrives and survives. If you don't have a, have a use, it's, it's rather hard to keep you around when, you know, everyone kind of dies on a Fairly regular basis, fairly. Those that live long live very long, but high mortality rate. Um, mm -hmm. But for me, it's so. Uh, it is because 
I don't, I don't think you're a bad person in the slightest, I think. I, I appreciate how competent you and Selty really are, are the ones that I find myself curiously drawn to uh, separate reasons, but I like the the air of purpose that both of you have. Does that make sense? Air of purpose. You know what you know what you must. Yes. I just I understand I understand, I suppose. I can't speak for the others, and they may have their own reasons, but my owner. I can't help but say a little bit more selfish, but I think being real about it is the safest way to be. I need you alive. I need you... I, I need you to succeed. And I personally also... Why like, do you need that? Well, I mean, I technically don't. I, I do just need Maldrich, but I, like I said, I've taken a shine to you to your, 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 your air of purpose. It's something we, as full storm, I was put in quotation marks, respect and value and appreciate that new person. Someone has that about them. Almost like being a little bit of So, despite how far away I am from there, as well though, I do humbly thank you for letting me reminisce in your presence. Of course. You're welcome to. Very nice. Oh, so, as long as you can keep that promise. Ah! <laughs> Uh, as long as you can keep that promise, I won't tell anyone here what you do. Is um, that a threat? No. Well, okay, I should word that differently, too. I won't tell them regardless, but I would appreciate it if you took me along in that way. I feel like I could stop you. If you do something like this again, you would jab at the, uh, the, uh, where she hit. Not hard. The playful, the playful jam. Probably still hurts. <laughs> yep. It does. It it's sore. Uh, she would wince a little. Hey. Just kind of, it goes, no, wait. He'll just kind of lean back on his end like, we'll go back when you're ready. Right. I need a little time alone. Let's reach back to the tree. <laughs> Keep an eye on her but from a distance. Watching her from the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> he crawls back into the bushes backwards. Can I make some kind of breath to attempt to calm myself down? <laughs> A badger is a sitting ass. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, I would say it would most likely be a wisdom check or a wisdom save, more specifically, try to calm yourself down. Wisdom save? I, are, those aren't at disadvantage with one. No, 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 no. It's check, not save. So wisdom save. They save under two or three. Yeah, so yeah, it, it, it takes you a little bit of time. There's even with the perfect roll, it, it, you're not going to instantly get over this, but. You take some deep breaths, you, you, you kind of focus on yourself, your inner self, what's going on. The orphan uh, being there kind of helps to get you to calm yourself down. And uh, after a few minutes, you uh, and some deep breathing exercises, after a few minutes you've calmed yourself down. You're less in a destructive state. You still feel the inner faults related. Can you not hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Because no, because Hydra, Hydra's put thing in the chat. They might need to refresh. Roll twenty is acting weird. It was the police. They came for you. They can't arrest me for all my war crimes. 
Just some of them. Carla's so upset that the fucking phone was out on the twins. She wanted to fucking make those little shits ah. <laughs> worry a little. Huh. Oh, bastard. What an anticlimactic ending. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Caitlin. You're welcome. Oh, Tara's internet dying. Yes, we're back. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear us? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so um, what I was saying was, um, so, yeah, you do manage to calm yourself down. Obviously, even a perfect roll, you don't calm yourself down instantly. It takes a few minutes. You do some deep breathing exercises. Um, Orphan simple being there seems to naturally kind of calm you down a little bit as well. But uh, after doing that, on a surface level, you are calmer. You're in a less destructive to yourself state. You still feel this kind of inner kind of turmoil over your own self-perceived failures, but it's less um, bubbled to the surface, less physically destructive. Whoa. Echo. We're echoing. Let me read. Hello? All right, Hello? I'm reconnecting. Okay. No, it's our. I think it's our end because it's just been exploding. Yeah, my my internet's dropping. Oh, um, but yeah, you, you basically do succeed. It takes a little bit of time, and while on the uh, on the surface you're calmer, there is still some self-perceived failure uh, in the back of your mind. But you are much calmer than you were earlier. Yeah. All right. Uh, once she feels sufficiently calm, then she'll start walking back to the camp. I would follow suit. Alex, Tara? Yes, yes. I can hear them. They're there. Oh, I can hear yeah. Motherfucker. Uh, it's because yeah. of Caitlin. Um, because, because of all the connection issues that are going uh -huh. on, I, I think I'm going to call it there. Um, yeah. ju just yeah. because of all the, the, the weird connection issues that are going on. Roll20 has clearly tapped the watch and said you've had enough fun. Um, <laughs> That's true. So... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna leave it off for there for now, um, and then next time we'll we'll pick up from uh, from where we got. And the mission will continue, but that is the episode for today. Uh, uh, the episode title is uh, "Strength of the Pack," uh, and actually, it feels really good after some of the stuff that happened. But uh, yeah, I hope everyone had fun, and I'm gonna cut the recording. Yeah. Yeah.